What's up, Stokers? Uh, before we begin this podcast, I want to remind you that we got a show coming out on Netflix. That is the Netflix, the streamer. Um, check it out. So it comes out August 23rd. That's next Tuesday. But you can go to Netflix.com right now and search Chad and JT Go Deep. You'll see it. You'll see the trailer. And then you can click add to your list. So you'll get a notification right when the show drops. Then you can boom, binge it all. In one go, we promise you guys are going to love it. It is a total blast. I'm so proud of it. And yeah, I'm just smiling right now because I'm so fired up on it. Um, We're also going on tour. We got a bunch of dates coming up. We're going to Las Vegas. We're going to Hawaii. We're going to North Carolina, South Carolina, Boston. We have a Boston date. We added a late show to our Chicago date. So two shows in Chicago. Let's get two going in Boston, Uh, New York. and. yeah, so check out GoChatandJT.com for tickets. We're also got a new sponsor on the pod that I'm super stoked about. All right, guys, this is True Classic. You may have seen their ads online. True Classic, the dankest t-shirts. I'm actually wearing a True Classic t-shirt. What up? And uh, honestly, I'm so fired up on these t-shirts. You guys know how I feel about t-shirts, and True Classic has the best ones on the market. That's why they're our sponsor. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code go deep. Free shipping includes included on purchase over $100. 100% risk free guarantee with a 30 day return policy. Stay classy with True Classic. Your dad bod will thank you. We're also brought to you by, Le- by the legends at Manscaped. Manscaped, thank you so much for keeping our trims peed, for looking after our hogs, for making sure that our dinks are looking fresh and clean because. QSPN signature sound. Dude, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> but guys, you know what time it is. It's fantasy football draft season and it's right around the corner. Time to get your snake looking right for this snake draft with the sponsor of sponsors of today's show, Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code go deep at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code go deep at manscaped.com. It's time to put the PP back in PPR and get a grip on your piss pig skin this season with manscape all right let's start the show y'all ready for this y'all ready for this all right stick out the tongue and dart the gooch what's up stokers of stoke nation this is chad kroger coming in with the going deep chad jt podcast I'm here with my compadre Jean Thomas. what up uh boom click boom Oh, oh, dude, oh, I see what's going yeah, on over here, weird. dude. You, <coughs> just, you just reminded me of another tune, Fuck, dude. dude. Fuck, dude. We're here with the uh, the Duke of Decor, Strider Wilson. Ball with the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking oh, I'm not doing we might be burning so some good. right now. We might be burning some, dude. Song. But fuck, man. And we're here with the juggernaut of jubilation. Whoa. Chris Parr. Nice, oh. dude. Cut my race? life oh, in two yeah. pieces. Oh, yes, oh, dad. Dude. There's my number one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you say that, man. Don't you fucking me. <laughs> yeah, we're pumped up. Let's because, go. Because we're doing a draft today. We're drafting our top four pump-up songs. Of all time. Y'all ready for this? And so we've already given some away. But there's a lot to choose from. It's a very broad category. We all feel like there's going to be less overlap on this one than other drafts. I agree with that. I agree with that. And Chris, you already had some beef. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, Because I was like... I I took it to mean like... um, Just to try and narrow the scope of it a little bit. To be like, all right, so we're talking about like... like More like like what gets you pumped to like work out. Because there's a lot of overlap between, like, the workout songs are, like, my favorite songs to rage to. Right. And, like, party. So it's trying to stay away from those. But then it seems like these guys were... Yeah, you. There's different. Things that's why we said get you pump pump up. exactly. That's smart. There's different ways to get different things to get pumped up for. But look, you could build a great right. list based on your strategy, and Aaron yeah. might appreciate it for what that list is. Yeah, the top. Yeah. I mean, workouts we're probably trying. the biggest. Yeah, category or the most potent, and there is a and lot then, of overlap. Like I said, yeah, yes, yes, and you know, 
if you fucked up, you fucked up. There's always an extra app. I'm gonna fuck up. I'm gonna. F- I fuck up. It's who I am. It's what I do. Now today's the day you, you change that. Thank you, dude. Well, you did good. On, I mean, you crushed Thank the you. last one, and you didn't bend on the last one. Yeah, I didn't bend exactly. Do you miss bending? I do. Did it? Was it hard for you to I not miss, be an agent of chaos? I miss it so bad. I might just have to bend on this one, baby. But like we said, <laughs> really tough to bend. Yeah, because there's different ways to get pumped. Yeah, up. exactly. It's yeah. tough to bend. It's like yeah. All right, Just we'll choose the soundtrack from Unforgiven. And the thing that was tough too is I was discovering songs all morning. I was scrolling through Instagram. And I was like, oh, fuck. Just like this. I was like, dude, there's another song, another song. It's good. Yeah, it's- can I put this out there right now? And look, yeah. we love these, these drafts because it gets the fodder and everyone's so passionate about it. We love it. We know we're going to miss a ton. And that's like my when building a list, I'm like the FOMO of missing all those sick ass songs. So yeah. share them, let us know. But don't DM me and go, Strider, you dumbass. How could you not have said that? Yeah. I'll be like, dude, come on, man. Just give me some love. And, well, and then sometimes they'll like, sometimes I get it. Like when there's a huge obvious one. Yeah. And then sometimes the way they get at you is even dumber than your mistake. Like they'll be like, hey, how come no one picked Gus from Breaking Bad? Yeah. I'm like, hey, asshole. Because <laughs> we said movie villain. Yes. Movie. Like some people will talk shit when they haven't even, or they, they'll be like, how come no one picked Anton Chigurh? I was like, I picked him third. So they sent that after two picks. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Now I took some heat for this, but I'm going to say it. This is going to be a tough one, guys. Dude, we were laughing about that. Dude, yeah. yeah. When, when my, when, we say that every time, right? This is going to be tough. Yeah. It's They're tough. all tough. They're all <laughs> yeah. tough in their own way. Yeah, I challenge you, Instagram commenter, to get into the hot seat and not say it and just be like, oh, this is easy. And then you try and bend, and then you're stuck with your dick yeah. in your ass. And dude, then, we're sensitive guys, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, yeah. we hear you when you say these things, and we take this shit serious. I didn't sleep last night, dude. I just hung out and just looked at my wall. But we <laughs> are the man in the arena. Our face is marred by blood, sweat, and internet blue screen. Yep. We're the ones putting in the F. The fuck? Dude, you can cruise on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's do this. Odds or evens? One... Two, three. Ooh. Oh, I'm so Shoot nervous, again. dude. Go ahead. Again. One, two, three. Oh, oh fourth pick, Chris. That's oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh, Uh-oh. third pick. Dude, here we go. I don't want to go first. Dude, dude I'm going first. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, Rochambeau. <laughs> Paper, rock, scissors, shoot. Bang. Oh, JT's first. Do you do scissors every time? Do I? Yeah, every time we I play. I like I that you do that though, dude. I reset every he's, day. He's got, he's got a notebook of everyone's first. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Down, <laughs> he just goes, Daddy's awake now. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Whoa, dudes. I did not expect to get the first pick. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I, I broke it up into categories, different kinds of pump up. I love it. And this one to me, my three main categories are workout, uh, workout pump up, workout or fight pump up, uh, sex emotional pump up, party pump up, mm. and then its own category. I, I'll say life heroic pump up, like heroic pump up. Mm. This one falls into the latter group. I'm going with My Hero by the Foo Fighters. Great song, dude. Great movie, bro. Yeah, dude. Because you know what this one does? This one pumps me up. It's good during a workout. Not really for partying. It's good for the emotions, too. But this one's like when I'm driving on the freeway and I'm just thinking about the whole scope of my life and do I have the willpower to take it on? If I put on this song, I instantly get full to the full. I instantly get filled to the brim with like, the the courage to take on whatever's in front of me and then it's about you know just saving people which is sick that's so rad and it looks good in a montage which i also think is good for a oh, pump-up song hell yeah. varsity oh, blues beautiful sequences and uh yeah i'm gonna go with my hero by the food fighters excellent pick and i know you get pumped up to that because you guys were moshing at a concert at jingle ball years ago to that so i've seen you literally in the mosh pit it's the drums, dude. The mm-hmm. guitar. Also, should we just play the songs for a second? Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Dude, I'm fired up. <laughs> that works for me. Uh, all right, is it me? 
Chad. Well, I got to go with the number one pick and I got to go with, you know, this is sort of a top pump up song. I'm sure it's expected. And uh, this one is literally telling you this is your moment to shine. Don't fuck it up. And, you know, I got to go with it. I got to go with Lose Yourself by Eminem. Yeah, that would have been my number one. Uh, It's the ultimate (laughs) pump up song. This is your moment to shine. This is your moment to grab life by the balls and take yourself to the next level. This is your one moment to fucking do it. Now, are you going to do it? Or are you going to back down and eat your mom's spaghetti? Knees weak, arms is heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. already. Mom's spaghetti. spaghetti. He's nervous. Dude, it's yeah. so good. Yeah. The vitality. But I he's mean, calm and ready to drop You can drop feel bombs. Eminem's whole life in it when yeah. he's talking about it. Yeah. And, the, and dude, I mean... At the Oscars when he did it a few years ago, that was incredible. It just blew me away seeing that live. So, and I've never seen Eminem live. I really want to see him live. Have you guys seen him live? No, dude, I love that. Yeah, very raw um, song. Yeah, so that's gotta be my number one. Fuck, that's so fucking good, dude. I wonder though if Hamilton's my shot is stronger. <laughs> oh, bro, that's a great song, dude. Hamilton's. My I am not throwing away my. That's kind of based on the Eight Miles song, right? Probably. Like he totally kind of lifted he was, from that. Yeah, he was listening to a lot of Eminem. I think so. It's a good call. Just hope for sure. Hey, the good ones the, borrow, the great ones steal. So loud, he opens I mean, bro. His mouth, but the words won't come out. He's choking how everybody's choking now. The clock's run out. Time's up. Over. Loud. Snap back to reality. Oh, they go. All right, so and, we're all we're all fired up because we just listened to "Lose Yourself," and now bro. we're ready to tackle our cameras. Dude, exactly. Someone's gonna. <laughs> Why get are you me. staring at me, camera? It's also like you think about the rap battles from Eight Mile, you know, so which, was, sick. which it came out with, you know. Oh yeah. And this would have been Strider's number one pick and your number one pick, Chris. Yeah, because it's just a it's wow. a solid number one. I think it checks so many boxes because it checks in athletic. If you have athletics coming up, mm-hmm. it gets you pumped up for the game with a team. Yeah. Then it also gets you just in the zone for your own workout. Yeah. Then you can play it like just Chris just said for a bat, like literally for a party scenario. Yeah, like, like if you huge versatility and it's emotional. It's raw. It's just, yes. Yeah. And, and it gets you horny for sex. You could fuck during this song for sure. Dude, you know what? And before we start our show, we never did it, but I was I was thinking we should all get in a huddle and listen to Lose Yourself because I'm like, this is the moment. It, for any for any like life defining moment, you listen to Lose Yourself and you know that's gonna take you over the edge. We listened to it before my brother's wedding. Oh, you did? Yeah, and when I w- walked out, I just started I just wrestled one of the bridesmaids. Oh, it did, oh I so saw smart. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She got you in a nice, pretty nice arm bar. She did choke she me out. Yeah, because yeah. really, yeah, I slipped the arm bar and then she got yeah. behind my neck. Yeah. And I wasn't going to tap. But my brother yeah. was like, dude, you got to officiate. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, all right, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, she's like 6'2", 210. Yeah. I mean, you came up to me later and you were like, you know, I had her, right? And I was like, yeah. sure, yeah, man. Sure, dude. Well, that, that's how he started the wedding, too. He's like, I had her, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was gnarly, yeah. All right, dearly beloved. Fuck. Um... <laughs> All right, so Chad with a huge pick. Oh, also Greg Ebel mentioned about that song. Best song for highlight tapes on YouTube. Correct. Oh, like if you have a high school wrestling video. I think her, mm-hmm. actually, we watched some of her state wrestling, the, the uh, Bridesmaid That Took You Down. Yeah. I think she did use Lose Yourself for her wrestling Galinda. video. Yep. Just her throwing around dudes. Um, okay, let's see. Guys, this is tough. Chad, you really changed things with that pick, but I should have been expecting it. I'm so fired up. Um, let's see, baby. Let's cruise. Okay. I'm going to go with an all-time classic right here. This is a pump-up song that after you've just won the championship, you're in the locker room, everyone's dick is out, and you're fucking just <laughs> feeling so good, and you're listening to House of Pain jump around, dude. Yeah. Jump up and get down. And it just has that iconic... And it's and it gives you instructions for getting pumped up. So I'm like, if if you're an alien Very and you smart. land on Earth and you're like, wait, how am I gonna get pumped up? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I got you. Yeah. House of Pain. Dude, they need to shoot a movie scene where everyone has their dicks out. You know, maybe the coal miners from uh, Chernobyl and they're listening to Jump Around. If, yeah, if they had Jump Around going on after you after you accomplish something, you put this song on, you're gonna feel good. Yeah.
It's like one of it's one of those ones where like <laughs> dude that does fire you so up. Sick. Dude, I'm so <laughs> pumped up <laughs> now, like, dude. Like, you could play it at a wedding, you know what I mean? And like yeah, every yeah. age group would be like, oh yeah. You can you picture I mean? an old lady like oh, kind of lightly yeah. getting her arms in the air. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dogs <laughs> humping each other to it. You know what? And it's it's <laughs> it's it's good spirited. Yeah, it is. It's like pure yeah. fun. There's not a lot of like uh there's nothing ugly about that song. No. That's why old people can party to it. Right, because it's just it's just like, let's go. It's so sick. Great pick. Chris, you got Thank two. You. Oh, my God. I'll take your time. Oh, my God. This is tough. Going back to back is tough, dude. I'm going to go with... I like to party to both these songs. Now we're talking. One, the first one, it's not like... Is Zombie by the Cranberries. Oh, interesting. I fucking love this song. It's a great song, yeah. Also the deepest song that's been mentioned so far, because that's about uh that's about like the IRA and stuff like that, right? Uh about what? The troubles. Which I know what the troubles are, but maybe you could explain that to me real quick so I can relate to the audience. <laughs> Here's a mic, Aaron. Yeah. Irish versus Catholic or versus Protestants. Oh, internal uh Irish strife with the, the Catholics the Cokes versus the Pepsis. Catholics versus the Protestants. Yeah, so it gets me fired up because it's very emotional, but it's still a rock song, you know? And uh, it is a weird song to party to since it is very serious, but I don't know. It never stopped us and my boys in college. That was like one of the songs that we would play pretty much every time we drank. Yes. I love it. And then the next one, I'm going to go. Wait, should we play this one first? Oh, yeah, let's play it. Let's feel it out. I also think, Chris, it's a weird pick, and I think you've sent the whole draft on a different trajectory. I think now. so, too. It's going to get more beautiful. personal after this. Yeah. And how can you Well, be- that's the thing. Lose Yourself would have been like my everyone knows this, but then when that, that was going, I was like, all right, I'm just going to go very go from the personal heart. to what gets me extremely emotional, which okay. is usually what Pumped Up is for me. Dude, how many times have you been driving to that and then you pulled up to Del Taco and you'd be like, I'd like Del Ferno sauce with a black bean burrito, a large Fanta, <laughs> and then boom, immediately. Zombie! <laughs> they actually make that Del Scorcho. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's a great pick, dude. Here it is. Good pick. Yeah, it's powerful. Fuck. Um, it's so tough because there's so many choices. Man. I know. Yeah, that's I why I think I'm just gonna get super personal, and I'm gonna go. And that song builds, dude. And then you can just yell "zombie," but "zombie." Eh, eh. You did, if you, yeah. If you don't know any of the words, you just say. She said it's just you just say bombs a lot. Uh, yeah, and it works. <laughs> and their bombs, and their bombs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell if someone just doesn't know the song if they don't say bombs twice. If they fuck that, you don't, you I don't, really, you don't really just know. Now, so did I. I listen to it. I don't know once a month. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with another female vocalist. Love nice, it, dude. I'm gonna go. You do love chicks the most of all of us, <laughs> for sure. I like them second most. Chris is a huge <laughs> chicks guy. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> saw the chicks on Tuesday <laughs> at the Greek. Oh, oh dude, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, they got a yeah. good pump up song. Wow. That's I'm gonna awesome. go with uh, "Chandelier" by Sia. Whoa, oh, dude, yeah, yeah, bro, oh, Christopher. Bro. This is such an interesting list. Yeah, I love Sia. It was really tough with Elastic Hearts. It's kind of one A, one B. Um, but that song's about fucking raging like too hard. But it's also yes. super fun to rage hard too. These are great picks, man. You're very emotionally specific. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I really pumped up for me is always just like. I do like like the raw raw rock and stuff, but for the most, I, I still respond to that. But the ones that really get to me are like hyper emotional, usually with a chick singing and freaking belting. I got one later that's in that category. That's what we used to drive around to when we were driving on Antonio. We just have like a song like that, and the the pump up was that we were so unguarded in our emotion. Yeah, oh, you just beautiful. like you just. Feel, I like songs where you feel a ton, and it's less. Um, it's very, uh, yeah. very Latin passion. And Chandelier, it's like, you know, she's ta- she's just talking about like raging too hard and how it's like fucking up her life. Mm-hmm. Again, kind of weird to party too, but it totally works. 
Also, with your personalization of the list, I think she was going to sell that song to someone else, and then some her managers or producers were like, "No, you just have to do this." So, like your list, very you. This song also very Sia. Yeah. Mm. And these are the songs that I like to work out to. Mm. I love that. Um, just because I get really excited. I'm excited to hear. You it. guys ready to hear it? Yeah, Fuck, hit, yeah. hit the sample. I mean, that is a raging Bro. soul. That is a soul raging that against so the yeah. interminable it's pain so of life. She is screaming back at the abyss in that one. Life, you do your worst for I will do mine. That's what she's saying. Yeah, exactly. Dude, and you know, what's the ultimate party move? To fucking jump on the chandelier and swing from it, baby. Someone yeah, does that. Exactly. Let's go. And, like go. The, and like it's, a, it's an act of destruction. It. Yeah. What does Kat do in 10 Things I Hate About You? She's dancing on a table. What takes her out? A chandelier. What do we do when meaningless is slapping us in the face? We destroy. Correct. We burn it down. <sighs> Fucking great. I bet you the Joker listened to that song. <laughs> he probably did. Before he robbed sure. a bank. But he was just like, when he, like just when he, yeah, when he got emotional by himself. They never show you what the Joker was doing when he was by himself at home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, when he's like... He's playing Wordle. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, Wordle. Yeah. He's, he's like, texting his henchmen. Word, yeah. His first word is always just Joker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, just, hey, DMing, yeah. just DMing models. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah DMing just regular yeah. hot chicks. Just watching Instagram just, models He's like, like, nice. He's yeah. like, that, that trip in Bora Bora looks sick. <laughs> <laughs> Did I watch this video of this beaver that would eat this farmer's crops in front of his camera every day? It's so fucking funny. Just That's the Joker, awesome. the Joker watching that. He's like, "This beaver is hilarious." Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would do if I was yeah. a beaver. He's like really into deer. You know, yeah. he reads a lot of books on him. Yeah, he's yeah, just yeah. This beautiful creature. He yeah. shows up late to work one time, doesn't have his makeup on. He's like, "I forgot to set my alarm." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "I'm just going. I'm just going right." They're like, "Dude, come on, man! Like you were supposed to freak everybody out." He's like, "It's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll make it up on the back end." Yeah, I'll shoot an extra person. Um, Strider, you're up. All right, here we go. Chris left some chalk on the board with his list, but I'm not going for the chalk, baby. I love where we're I've going with this. I've been inspired by Chris right now. Yeah, we're all going deeper now. <clears throat> and this band has a lot of just, this is my go-to workout. I put this band, just Greatest Hits or any old album, on there to work out to, but this is my off-roading song. Whoa, nice and This is also nice a category. fuck the You're man. This is song. what I off-road to. And this is oh. Rage Against the Machine, killing in the Damn name of you, dude. Yeah, you son of a gun. It just gets me so. And dude, yeah. literally, it says, "Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me." Yeah, yeah. I mean, bro, is there anything better? Like, dude, I was literally showing it to my dank fiance today, and she's like, "I was like, you know, she, it's not her type of music, but she was like, hell yeah, dude." Yeah. She did a quick lane change. I was like, "You usually don't do that, but that was nice." It's righteous, dude. It's righteous rebellion. Yes. It's like, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. It's amazing, and the way it builds. <laughs> Because you're kind of quiet bro. and you're just like with your boys and you're like, fuck you, I won't do And then you feel yourself starting to get more and more pumped up. And then that chorus comes in. And by that point, very uh, easy song to mosh to. Oh, dude, like, you're moshing It so builds hard. the mosh and, in you. And he does say, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me at like 40 times. Yeah. And it's very easy. To, like if it's your first time hearing it, like oh. you catch on pretty dude, quick. If you're, you know? if you're a teenager <laughs> and you don't know how to verbally communicate with your stepdad, slam the door to your room, then <laughs> skip to about three minutes in this song yeah. and you've aced it. Message loud and clear received. Dude, I'll, I'll tell you, I, in high school, I took 10 Adderall one time and you're pumped up when yeah. you take 10 hours, yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro. And this is one how you know it's a good pump up. Just band in general. What did I listen to? Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Dude, I remember Malcolm or Hall Monitor or like Proctor. You know, I was just cranking Rage Against the Machine. Renegades of Funk was on. Mm. He's like, he comes in, I was writing a paper. And he's like, he comes, he comes, <laughs> dude. In, he comes in, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, what? <laughs> dude, writing an essay to that, kind yeah. of great, dude. dude the I essay mean, is going to be powerful. It's going to have big yeah. themes. Oh, dude, yeah. It was on like Huck Finn or something. You're like, well, the government tried to take Huck Finn down and fuck the government, dude. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, raft is a, the raft is a metaphor. Yeah, for dude, the... and corporations, dude, the fucking, you know, yeah, yeah. the riverboats. That's yeah. what, the other thing about Rage Against Machines, they, they're like, they put a lot of big stuff into their songs like they'll reference like the civil rights movement and stuff yeah so it always gets a little elevated too where you're like yeah i'm just dumb and angry and then you're like but i'm fighting for real causes 
<laughs> it, yes. it, it puts you in line with something powerful. Yeah, there's like a, the album covers like a Buddhist monk. What's it called? Self flag or not self flag? Um, oh, self immolation. Self immolation. Gnarly, yeah, very gnarly. The dude who did it in front of the uh, what is it? Tiananmen Square. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. There's a great article about how they snuck that film out of uh, China. Really? Yeah. That's a great movie. It, was, it could be like an Argo. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. Like they had to be real secret agent about it to get the photos back to Western like media. That's a great movie. Dude, also funny about the stepdad thing. I almost feel like with the inverse in power now between kids and parents. Right. That like I can more easily picture myself as the stepdad putting that song on and closing my door and locking totally, it. Right. Dude. And, well, then the, like, and then the nine-year-old kid has to hear and I'm like, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. <laughs> dude, you, or, yeah. so true. Or if the kid does put it on. I mean, you probably grew up, the stepdad probably grew up with this song. So then he right. could kick down the door and be like singing along <laughs> yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, and then yeah. you know Duh. the kid's immediately going to be like, fuck. <laughs> fuck dude. I'm not listening to this anymore. Yeah, you're not going to feel <laughs> out persecuted to me, dude, yeah, if like, I have to take care of you. Like, dude. you're going to try and use rage against me, dog? I was in high school when this came out. Yes. Like, you can't do that. Yeah. yeah, I was born in the darkness. All right, should we listen to it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Just, um, just by yourself at Holy Gyms, just fucking in your mom's Honda yeah, MDX, Acker MDX. Just Dude, the underrated thing about off-roading too is that you're owning the ground. It's like you're call. owning the earth. Like you're like, nice rock, bitch. Yeah, bitch. About to leave you for a little <laughs> bit, bitch. Then you catch air, just burn out. Oh, dude. dude, I want to see you road. Dude, we should. I can't believe we've been off-roading together, yeah. dude. Oh, it, dude. Yeah, let's go road. Yeah, we should road for sure. You got your truck, dude. Yeah. Let's take it. But I'll take my hybrid if we have to. Well, let's let's take them both, dude. Chris and I, we froded in, in uh, Ocotillo Wells. We got some ATVs, and you were cruising oh, yeah. in my hybrid. I just put a two foot body lift on my Prius, so that thing is like oh, that thing's ready to rip. Dude. Yeah, that was you? Dude. yeah, dude, it's sick. Damn, dude, fucking awesome. Yeah. My buddy Carl is taking an auto class at Capo High. Oh hell yeah! And so I just rolled it in there, and he fixed it up for me. Big shout out to you, dude. That's rad, dude. Um, Every time I go off roading, dude, I always take my Uzi with me, and you just pop it out in the middle and just spray it. Such a good call. As you're listening no. to some like cranking some tunes, dude, it feels Whoa. so good. Yeah, and I got my morphine drip just hooked up, dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's the fucking crazy, bomb, dude. Whoa, dude. dude, you got morphine drip while you yeah, froze, just dude. Got a full drip bag, shit, dude. A little stand. You can get that, dude. Oh. You can get that, dude. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, you get them right on the way out in the desert. You stop at that bar still, dude. One time I was so excited to frode that I was filling up my car with gas and then i just drove with the nozzle in Fuck. and people were like hey and i was like i know i just fucking froze you just it. said later dude yeah with the hose in you my know car what, asked? what who's that kid you knew who off road who like was bragging about his car while he was driving a chick home <laughs> oh yeah chris tolls and he had an older brother who was a great above me but didn't you say he was driving a girl and, and yes uh, yeah yeah because of the lift the odometer is all fucked we're actually going like right now <laughs> and then some other dude was in the car and he's like and then you just see like some shitty little car like zoom, like zip past him on the freeway what a legend dude i think that is a real thing we're yeah. like we're like lifts we're like non-factory tires can like yeah fucking, but i don't think uh, can't you go faster i'm actually going like a hundo that's funny. you actually don't realize <laughs> chad you're up, dude. All right, I'm. I'm gonna go with this song because I heard it this morning and it just fired me up. And it's it's a classic and it's female vocalist as well. Beautiful. And it's about love. You know, it's about lost love and you know trying to win bet that back, which you can just feel so deep in your soul. And um, this singer is also responsible for a story we heard recently that involves pegging a mega movie star. Oh, this is a great pick. Uh, it's If I Could Turn Back Time by Cher. Oh, oh, dude. I love Cher. Yeah. All right, let's put if it I on. Turn, when does this pump you up? If I could turn back time. Burn up or down if I could find a way. Burn up or... That's the Chad Kroger cover. Oh, that's a beautiful <laughs> um, cover. That won't be a cover. What's up? What does this fire you up for? What does this fire me up for? Fuck, man. Just, um... You know what I feel like I could just picture you being like, remember when you quit your job a while back when you were working at that video store? Yeah. And you just flipped the bird to your boss and you're like, dude, Strider, meet me at Rubio's. Yeah. And I remember you rolled up blasting the song. I just imagined you just like 
flipping the bird to your boss, dude. Yeah. And just being like, fuck it, dude. Yeah. Are right, you guys want to listen to it? I, I listened to this song. I was working at a diner. Yeah. And I had an abusive husband. Yes. And finally, I just yeah. met like a kindly old uh, line cook at the restaurant who like had lost his wife 30 years ago, but loved her true and, and had just a beautiful, like hard earned wisdom on the world. And he told me it was time for me to get free and move to the big city. And after I went home and I kicked that piece of shit hubby in the balls. I grabbed my bag and I drove to this song on my way to California. Mm. Oh, I love that, dude. Mm -hmm. That is exactly right. That's when it pumps me. That's a fucking beautiful word picture that you just painted. Thanks, man. Uh. Yeah, I'd say um, for me, yeah, I think it's, I think it's, it reminds me of like your first crush and you cruise in 10 years later. Mm. And you just do a burnout in front of their place and then you just like do donuts and then you get out of the car and you flip your collar up. And One you, billion percent. Yeah. And you make out with them. All right. Deuterinos, I got two picks right now. Here we go, baby. All right. Um, I'm being pulled in a lot of different directions here. <laughs> I think I'm going to save my weird one for fourth and I'm going to go chalk right here. Yeah, I think it's smart. I'm going with two workout songs. I'm going with... Another Eminem banger. Yep, I know it. That I don't think is as good of a song as Lose Yourself, but I think for the specific purpose of working out, it's the best song of all time, especially if it's in a team setting. I'm going Till I Collapse. Correct. It's a great one. Great song. With Eminem it. and Nate Dogg. Yeah. I mean, Nate Dogg, greatest voice in history, the best singer of all time. Who, him, if Nate it's a Dogg. hook from the 2000s. Yeah. He, he's singing all the hooks. Yeah. And uh, yeah, there's just the aggression of it and and the testosterone of it, and it never fails to make me move when I'm when I'm lifting. Do the intro it down 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 down. And this like for me, it's like full teen angst, you know. Yeah. This oh, one, yeah when this came out, it. I was like, I was like, it. I was like, mom, don't fucking tell me to do homework. Yep. Yep. You know. And then, dude, I just picture you in that weight room. Just picture in the Santa Margarita weight room. Boys are just putting extra plates on your squat rack. Right. You know you're getting an extra plate up on the squat rack when this song comes on, dude. Mm -hmm. All the boys are around. And there's that, like whatever that fucking noise is. So sick. All right, you guys ready to listen? Yeah. Dude. Ready to get pumped up? Also, the little story preamble from Eminem. Yeah. You got to reach deep down inside of you and not be a quitter mm -hmm. and not give up. And then the lyrics come and you're like... <laughs> He's right. He's so angry in this one. <laughs> he's he's it's he's pissed off. So I collapse. I'm spilling these raps long as you feel them to the day that I drop. That face that that song will put like a wide herp into your face. That yeah, you just be ready to face down the uh, any cowboys. Ooh, wow. All right, dude. I think I'm gonna stay with my um workout theme and for my next song i'm going trapped headstrong <laughs> oh, dude. Nice. I think this might be i think till i collapse is your best workout song if you're working out with other guys if you're by yourself i think headstrong by trapped is the best <laughs> is the best one the, it's so dumb but <laughs> but it, it taps into so such good. good adolescent fury where the chorus just goes Headstrong, I'll take you on. Headstrong, I'll take on anyone. Yeah. And you can just picture yourself surrounded by a thousand people and just screaming that at them. A little bit like killing in the name of. Yeah. Fuck Same yeah. way you say, fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. This chorus is something you feel like shouting at a mob yes. that's trying to face you down. Let's go. Um, and, and this is actually probably the song that I have the most workout time put into. Yeah. Because in high school, it was on every workout playlist. I mean, it was kind of like, it was what, like. Seventh grade, eighth grade through all of high, the end school. Of high school. Yeah. We heard it for the first time on vacation in Cape Cod in the car. And I remember in that moment knowing my life had changed yeah, forever. Something's different. Mm. something's different. It's like when Dylan went electric. I mean, dude. Yeah, bro. Dude. So, also, so also, what makes it, 
One more thing that makes this song so good. I don't think this band ever had another relevant song. <laughs> this is what they had to say to the world. This is what mattered to the rest of the world. You know what else I like about this? Does he, there is a part where he just goes, Rah. Yeah, you yeah, have to have a little bit of that. Going into the chorus, yeah, for everyone, we go, Rah. The mistake. Like it's like, it like, and it builds up. And, uh. Too many bands when we were in high school made that their whole song. The scream out. The yeah. hardcore stuff. I can never get into that where it's like, Rah. Come on, move. Rah. And all those guys would yeah. blow out their voice boxes. They'd be like, Dude, did you hear about Jesse from Stick to Your Guns? You can't sing for five years. Dude, exactly, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah, exactly, no, dude. Maybe because like, you're, you're not that, saying, dude. maybe you're not supposed to sing like that. Yeah, I'm like, it's you're not supposed to growl for an hour. And that's the thing. I like growls, but it's like, it's a scalpel. You know, use it with precision. Yes. Use it once in a while just yes. to get yeah. me in that attitude. But the whole song, I need some melody. <laughs> I need some like, you know, real vocals. No disrespect, sorry, to all the people out there who just yeah, who like scream out. You guys, like, you guys, like, look, I like shitty music, but you really like shitty music. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's shitty. It's pretty yeah, it's bad. All right, wait, wait. Hold, so before we start, with, should we, we should do five picks, right? Is that probably, okay? yeah, probably. Because I'm starting to think of these. Because I'm getting inspired, but we should probably but, but do five. But we gave you proper time to set up. For sure, for sure, for sure. I, I just, it's just. We should probably do five. I'm actually good because I think I had. Yeah, we should probably all do ten. Let's just do a yeah, let's seven just hour do episode. Ten, dude. Dude, dude, what go. if we and let's listen to all the music? <laughs> yeah. dude, let's do a seven hour app. Hey, you guys, be, you people, guys are free people. for the next nine hours, right? Yeah, I'm good. I can work out during the pod. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just, we'll just let's turn into it, a dude. lifestyle. Start lifting thing. kettlebells. Um, Chad, you're up, dog. Um, all right. Hmm. It's it's tough to pick. Um. It's so hard. I think I gotta go with the one that really made me introduce me to like horny workout classes. Mm. And I still listen to category. this listen to, to oh, this day. Oh, yeah. Probably the hottest music video of all time. I think I know, yeah. And every time I hear it, I just picture I, literally every time I hear this song, I picture me and all my boys and, and my, you know, GF at the same time, you know, in sort of like a squat position doing a collective hump i know where you're going you dude. know because the beat is just yes. you know you're yes. just all humping at the same time it's sexual it makes you want to work out it's something that you envision like you know popping out of a stage too you know you're just like do 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 <laughs> um and so i gotta go call on me by eric pridge dude great pick man and yeah. i wouldn't have thought of it i mean 100% the greatest music video of all time. Yes. The guy they casted is like perfect. Perfect. Because he's kind of good looking, but he's also an everyman. So yeah. you can kind of picture yourself as him. Yeah. And then the women that they casted Amazing. in the video. And then the instructor. Oh. Dude, they used to play it at bars on like Taco Tuesdays. And I remember yeah. when it would come on, no matter what I was doing. Yeah. All my focus would just move towards the TV. Yeah. And I'd just be, it was totally like locked in for the remainder of the song. It was like yeah. in possession of me. It was yeah. really strong. It's so good. And, and the, I mean, there, there's really the good. one move where they're, or maybe that's the uh, John Travolta movie, but where they're just like, they're all humping, looking at each other. And I'll literally be in workout classes, just envisioning that where you're just that one guy, you just, whether you're like short shorts on, just. Yes. Um, yeah. It's kind of the dream to be the cool guy at the hot female workout class. It, it's the dream. And, and you know what? The girls, you know, Workout outfit is the best thing I've ever seen. I, I have to. Dude, I, that. I swear to God, when you started talking about it, I started getting wood. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we all got dude, wood. We all, we all knew what you were talking because, about. We're all like, this is really. Did you see yeah. my lights start getting crossed? Really yeah. Yeah. Get rid of my wood, dude. dude yeah. You got me kind of warm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, can you keep talking about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, don't stop, Chad. You're yeah. really in a groove there. Tell us more. We should, yeah. we should take five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna take a load break. Um, but. I know, dude. She's that really tan ass and just like full thong leotard. And it's not too sexual. It's all kind of like it's, but it's at like a PG thirteen <laughs> level. Yeah. There's nothing too. So, oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Hey, for this one, should we watch the music video too? Yeah. yeah. This right, is before this. butts were in too. Wait for the hump. Oh. You know what? <laughs> This is the best thing. It's better than anything it's ever. It's incredible. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Any category. 
<laughs> it's the best. It's the best thing we have to offer as a dude, as a civilization. <laughs> if, if aliens came down, they were like, "Who are you?" I'd hand them the music video for "Call on Me," and I'm like, "That's what we're capable like, we're of." We're keeping right you guys there. around. <laughs> like, like, you guys are Eric, cool. What do you want to do for your uh, for your music video? And he's like, "I got it." Like, dude, that song doesn't pump wow. me up to work out. It pumps me up to not care about working out and yeah. just be like, "Life is awesome, dude." Yeah, it yeah, pumps dude. me up to jack off. Oh yeah, yeah dude, that's uh, the yeah. best pump up to jack off song. <laughs> that's uh, a category. That's a category. <laughs> that is pump you up to jack off, dude. Did you invent a whole new category? <laughs> what about nine inch nails animal? Is, that's not that's like too kind of just. Is it too? Is it depraved. too ugly? Close. Yeah, it's yeah, close too ugly. Yeah. I want to fuck you like an. Those animal are player. like yeah. flip sides of the same coin almost. Yeah, he's that's not the like beautiful going, side. He's not, I don't think he's going for fun in that one. No, yeah. no, no. That one's like this is all fun. Animals like, they're like whoa. whoa. But yeah. for chicks who are into serial killers, that's number one. Yeah, yeah, or like, yeah. and all chicks oh. are into serial killers. And you called out why, Strider? I think it's because they empathize with the threat of being killed by a guy. No, you said it's because they want their money. True, they're coming after your money, dude. Look out! <laughs> that's the thing, dude. They get famous, write a book. They just want your money. Just trying to get it. Two point. <laughs> all right, shreds, you're up, dude. All right, dude, this is tough, dude. I mean, how do you follow some so like that's just the perfect I know, video? And it's different. Vibe. And the video that goes along with it wasn't even that was very like important that. with the video. Yeah. Whoa. There's still a lot of chalk on here. <laughs> just, dude. But dude, I gotta tell it. you. Play, sorry, playing the Eric Prids call on me song for your football team before a game. <laughs> I would love to see what that did to the team's <laughs> energy. Well, it's the thing they, the You'd people, have a fun time. Uh, yeah. Everyone's going to walk like this. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dude, everyone's got the boner And walk. like the offensive line's doing like a synchronized dance before they get into position. And then the quarterback's like lightly <laughs> yeah. humping the center. Dude, th this is the... This is what I pictured Yes. It's yes. good, dude. That's a good hey, thrust, good. dude. Hey, Especially take your time. Pants. Take your time up Dude, your there, pants man. game's been on fire, by the way, Thanks, just so you know. Yeah, dude. you wore cool pants yesterday, I'm, too. I'm trying to switch it up. Yeah, yeah. Let's it's go. great. Thanks. All right. Uh, man, damn, dude. <laughs> All right, you might be me, fucked, dog. Some beers. Dog, you might be fucked, bro. <laughs> this song is a banger. <laughs> and I could get this puppy later in the list. I don't think anyone's thinking it, but... Sorry. You got to go with what you like. <laughs> and when I was doing my pump up research, this is actually the song that I was listening to the most. And it sort of is taking my list in this like screw the government sort of uh, thing. But that's but cool. you hate rules or I, you like messing with rules right. a lot. Fantasy, yeah. I make my own rules. Fantasy, the drafts. Yeah, I, but, I do the same. But, yes. but yeah, I'm not trying to. No, throw, no, it's true. I'm a piece of shit. No, but you're, you're rebellious towards the. the yeah, you know, what? you're right. And this is true to who I am, and this song rips, and I've listened to it, and I'll tell you right now, confession before I tell, the, tell you what this song is, I was blasting this song on Hollywood Boulevard one time, going to an improv show, windows fully down on Hollywood, making a right, dude, kind of by Kuhenga, and there was a dude walking by, and he heard it, and he like said something to me, and I was like, what? And I turned down, and he goes, you're cool. <laughs> 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 and, 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 no wonder that you picked guy was, this one. That guy was black. <laughs> no wonder you picked this <laughs> I'm for real, dude. And as I've been a white dude from Orange, and it's brave to say that, dude, but that was the cool, there's no one cooler that that's like all my whole entire middle school childhood through high school just trying to be cool in that manner and you know yeah. what because because you were being authentic and that can translate across any culture yeah. race or creed and sure i had my windows down but i, I needed the base to get out and and it, this is uh public enemy harder than you think oh nice. dude i don't think i know this one and you and, know it you've and, heard it so true oh yeah and he's pumping up his buddy too in this song. Dude, when it hits. They were such an interesting team. Yep. It worked so well. Chris, can I house this? You yeah. wanna you wanna share it? You take it. You take it. <laughs> what goes on? Rolling stones in the rap game, not bragging. Look bigger than Jagger, not sagging. Sprawling backwards, I'ma leave it at that. Bro, this song rips. This song's so good. You know what this song's so good for? If you got a if you got a long day ahead of you shopping with your girlfriend and you're Ooh. going to the mall and you don't know if you got the necessary endurance to make it through, like you might only be able to hit two stores that day and you know she's on like a seven store mission. You listen to that song, you walk into that store 
ready for anything. 100%. 100%. Dude. Ready for fucking war, dude. Fucking so sick, dude. So I'm fired up on that. Public enemy, baby. Chris. Uh, I'm going to go with a corny classic rock song from my childhood that I introed. Give a little taste of it. Papa Roach, Last Resort. Nice, dude. Bro. Yeah, dude. It's, you know what? You need it because this is like the first self-hating pump-up so, pump up song. Yeah, it's the first it's, self-hating pump-up song. You need yeah. that. It's just like, it's... When suicide was yeah. badass. Cut my life into beta. A, a lot of emotional ones. So, I mean, we can play it because I'm going to switch it up on my next one. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's so corny. And um, again, you kind of get lost in that it's supposed to be heavy because it's just like really fun and stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yes. it's, it's amazing. It's very angsty. Yeah. It's like Jeremy talks shit on me at school. Yeah. Jessica's going out with Hunter. Yeah. My parents didn't let me go out last weekend. Last resort. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Or like when people are like, what do you what do you know? You you have a you have a big house and you're like, dude, I feel anxious sometimes. Yeah. You drop that bomb on them. And you're like, so I have pain too. Yeah, they're like, you don't have real problems here. Yeah, I got real hormones though, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fucking bastion of feelings over here, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no fucking appreciate that and recognize, and then we can stand eye to eye and talk about who we really are, dude. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the songs I picked, I like to sing in the car. Yeah. And I remember this one, like, even in high school, I lost my voice by, like, the second chorus. Oh, hell yeah. I was just singing it so hard. It's dude, very good it's for so violent fun. hand gestures, too. Cut my life into pieces. Yeah. Don't get it. You, know you know what's weird about this song, too? It also inspires me to jack off. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because the suffocation part, you like to do that a little bit. Right. You've dabbled with that. You like to mm -hmm. go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You like the lights to be dimming. Yeah. Right so as the chandelier it, explodes. It's a two, you know, I'm going. Yeah, you're, but you really have it dialed in. You tried to give me a lesson one time, but. Yeah. yeah I need my breath. <laughs> and the race is always kind of finished before the song's over. True. <laughs> well, that's the thing I was talking about. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can do before that. Before Desiree, you got to be, comes on. Well, Dude, thing, I, 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 was, I was telling, I was like, Strider, you got, you have to want to pass out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You got to want it. It has to come from inside. Mm -hmm. And I was yeah. afraid of it. If you're afraid to go under, you'll never blast through. So fucking. Dude, that was beautiful what you just said right there. Thanks, dude. I'm really pumped up. You've been saying a lot of beautiful shit today. This song's got me fired up, dude. I'm drunk too. Let's go. I'm yeah. a little bit buzzed. Ooh, wow. I've had a lot of really emotional ones, so I, I need something that's just light and fun. And I'm going, and I this is another one, most especially with uh, my boys in college. This one would get us fucking amped. Yes. You just have such a fun time. And that's Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Whoa. Oh, don't stop me. Because I'm having such a good time. I'm having a ball. Don't stop me now. Uh, it's just so fun yes. you, you you just end up bouncing around the room when it comes on uh because it's just got that vibe to it uh you know but he also talks about being uh you know exploding and being you know yes just fucking going really fucking fast and just having a ball don't and um yeah i love this one it's don't stop me now I don't think I know this one. Oh, you do oh, know it when so you hear it. You'll fun. know when you hear it. By Queen? Yeah. When you're all fucked up with your boys and you hear this, you're having a good time. And you're just prancing oh, around. Oh, I know this like, one. I know. This. Yeah. So to, for you to get pumped up, for you to get pumped up, it's really about unleashing your inner theatrical emotional dancer. Yeah. For a hundred percent. I also want to be able to sing to it. Um, but you want to be in a higher register when you sing. Yeah, mostly. I mean, because I guess for a lot of like the, like you mentioned earlier, like the, I feel like when I was younger, a lot of them were like saliva and like those, like in that vein of getting pumped up. But by the time I was getting out of high school, those ones didn't do as much for me. Maybe it's because we listen to so much emo stuff. Well, you get a little older too and, and then, you realize it's kind of ridiculous to be that angry at things. Yeah. And I guess almost emo seg segued me into gaiety. 
Yeah. No, like, like legit the dub. No, and like and like and like better music that had that could be emotional and you could rock out to, but just wasn't um and it felt more subversive to you to be merry than to be like malicious. Or I just liked being merry more. It's more I like fun. That. To, it's more fun. I mean, like the thing is a lot of these are sad songs, but you just kinda we would just you can still party. Because you can kind of party to anything. And it's just ones that caught on with the boys, you know? I'm that's fun. Go, go, Dude, that's go, pretty go. undeniably no fun. Let's go. He's on it. He's I'm on it. There's the how he gets pumped up. Show him. Cool stuff. Yeah, it just brings me back to dorm parties. You know, just partying in a room, standing on couches. It's very fun. But that's also something you could party with when you have kids or you at a wedding. Like, you can dance with... I can picture, like, my niece yeah. dancing to that, too. Like, yeah, it's so you're the uncle having fun. It allows you know? to be joyous and free. Yeah. And you're just... It is joyful, yeah. It leads yeah. to a lot of pointing, you know, yeah, yeah, a lot of knees moves, you yeah. know. Like I said, it's really merry. It gets, you, it gets you A lot of connective around. fun. Yeah. yeah. So prancing. Yeah. You like yeah. to prance. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just... You're almost like a... There's animals that prance. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Deers, back to deer. Elk. Yep, elk. Horses that are trained. Mooses. I think dogs even do. Dogs. Oh yeah, yeah some do. Yeah, yeah. Yep, they'll cruise around. Strider. All right. This is gonna yeah, be finish tough. It, finish. I'll get some more. Yeah, wait a second. This is gonna be tough. I mean, look, I have a way right now where I could really genre bend and ruin the list. But I'm not going to do that because we're having such a good Just time. Just do it, dude. Don't stop me. We're having such a good time that I can't do that. I can't be an animal. All these lists have been great. Uh, I got to go. I'm go thinking of two ways. I could go with what gets me and my boys fired up when we were in high school. Or I could go with just a good solid chalk. That's so sick. <sighs> Which W are you chasing? I'm going personal. Yeah. To thine own self be true, if anything else. And I'm going to go take him back Sunday, cut with, cute without the Oh, ears. what a pick. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, bro, dude. So much fucking fun, dude. It's angsty. It's teeny. And dude, we all sang it at our boy Daniels' wedding. Literally, we looked at all of our loved ones and we said, get off the floor. The boys are getting on there. And we all just fucking danced around, hung out, dude, hugged each other. It was on. We were ripping each other's ties, but it was cool. And it was just so much fun. Dude. Yeah, angst is such a powerful driver for expression. Yes. Right? Oh, like, dude, totally. Your lipstick's calling, don't bother, Angel. You uh, know exactly what good boy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very, it's a very specific <laughs> kind of partying where you're literally like grabbing your friend's shoulders. You're all in like kind of a, uh, like a rugby scrum and you're yes. just like rubbing heads, yelling at each other. Yes. Which is kind of the best form of partying in a lot of ways. It's amazing. And you can play it in your car, have a good time. Every time I've been ever, ever been de denied by a girl, a lot of times in high school, this song would come on. There's also one more song that I really thought of for doing for this, but this one had more joy to it and more fun for it for me. And I think you know the other one. And two singers singing during it. That's fun. Because oh, that then, cool. then you can duet with your homie. Yeah. I loved it. It was so fun. I remember our boy Johnson would come over. He would play it like, because we had the little music area. They would all jam. We'd hop on the vocals. So much fun, dude. All right, should I play it? Yeah. Yes. We're yeah. about to go bananas. Yeah, this one just gets shot. When everything you'll get is everything that you want. Oh, well, it says what you prefer. My finger on the trigger or mid face down, down across your floor. That might have got me the most jacked in any other song. I Whoa. fucked up, but that I might be air creeds in a different way. That would have, oh, Whoa, man. dropping shit. He's <laughs> fucked, dude. Oh. No, I gotta go grab <laughs> another beer. Dude, dude, let us get a beer. Do we need a beer yeah, after that one, dude? Uh, dude, uh, dude, uh, dude, uh, that dude did you want to play it louder? Ah. Uh. Guys, I'm interrupting this podcast to let you know once again that we got a show coming out on Netflix. This coming Tuesday, Chad JT Go Deep. You guys are gonna love it. It's 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 my pride and joy. It's our baby. And um, go to Netflix.com and or just go to Netflix. No, it's at Netflix.com. Go to Netflix. Search Chad JT. Go deep. Add it to your list so you can get notified right when it drops. And then boom, you got a dank ass show to binge on a Tuesday night or whenever you're free. Uh, we also got tour dates coming to a city near you. Epic shows, epic shows at chatandjt.com. Get your tickets now. 
Um, we also are brought to you by the Legends at True Classic, a new sponsor, guys. You know how passionate I am about t-shirts. I wear t-shirts all the time. I care very much about the fit and how they look. I like plain tees, you know, like today I'm wearing the True Classic Heather Gray tee. I think this is Heather Gray. I'm not good with colors, but look at this. So you know how much I care about how it fits, the form. If you're on video, look at this. I like a little bit a bigger tee. That's why I got large, but look at this. You can see my pecs and my muscles looking jacked. That's why True Classic is our sponsor because they're making you look good. We want all the stokers to look good and these dank new tees, okay? The absolute best fitting tees a man can buy. I mean, most t-shirts are either on way too tight around your gut or they're too big and boxy, but this is, they found the happy medium where you're just like, Mwah, this is beauty, all right? And a t-shirt. Almost all men's t-shirts are designed to look good on skinny models to six packs. But most of us aren't packing anything but a few beers. Yeah, that's the truth. So if you want to get a t-shirt that fits you and fits you well and makes you look good so you can go spread Stoke gospel, get True Classic because they taper off towards the bottom and they fit tight around the chest and shoulders. And it's time to highlight your best attributes with the t-shirt you can always confidently throw on. I love these t-shirts. I love True Classic, guys. Get on board now. You're going to love it. I love it. It's epic. Dank new sponsor. It's time to learn how to dress yourself properly. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with code GODEEP. Free shipping included on purchase over $100. 100% risk-free guarantee with a 30-day return policy. Stay classy with True Classic. Your dad bod will thank you. All right. And we are also brought to you by, of course, the legends at Manscaped. Manscaped, thank you so much for keeping our trims peeved, for looking after our hogs, for making sure that our dinks are looking fresh and clean because cute ESPN signature sound. I don't know what that is. I know the sound, but I just can't think of it in my dome. Uh, but fantasy football season is right around the corner. CD Lamb is good, but have you seen these beautiful nuts? <laughs> I saw mine this morning and I was like, you know what? They need to trim. That's why I applied the lawnmower 4.0 to them. And I was like, whoa, my dink looks good. I should put it out at a museum or something. Uh, not for the size, but for the pubization. That's a word. Uh, so it's time to get your snake looking right for the snake draft. The sponsors of today's show, Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming, have created a championship lineup with their performance package 4.0. Join the 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for kickoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with the code GODEEP. You can get in there the Performance Package 4.0, the Lawnmower 4.0, the Trimmer Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, uh, the Crop Preserver Ball Deal, Crop Reviver Toner, Boxer Breeze, Slotted at Quarterback. We have the Lawnmower 4.0 Trimmer. This spaceship is here to guide you on a journey to trim your body balls and even your A gap. That's the gooch. Guys, if you're not on the Manscaped train now, get on it. They have everything you need in terms of hygiene and keeping your pubes in check. So get 20% off plus free shipping with the code GODEEP at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code GODEEP at Manscaped.com. It's time to put the PP back in PPR and get a grip on your pigskin this season with Manscaped. All right, let's get back to the show. Hey, what's up, Stokers? It's me here. Got new pants. and. Uh, I'm not drinking today, so they're all grabbing an extra fresh brew, and I'm just, you know, thinking about jacking off still. And um, I haven't done it in a couple of days. I've been trying to preserve my seed, and it feels good. I feel focused. And I'm just thinking about my next pump up song, which I think is going to really, you know, show the world that it's okay to be amped. And, um, yeah. yeah, I've been calling Rick a lot, and he's like, don't you dare come. Don't come. And I was like, I was like, Rick, why can't I come? And he's like, because you need to preserve your chi. And I'm like, fuck, that's why I called you. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Just holding that jizz in my balls. <laughs> I like it. someone on the Reddit was like, they have very nuanced humor. The guys like nuanced. They talk about dongs and tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a nuanced take. Okay, it's a nuanced take on dongs and tea bags. 
All right, Chad, you're up, dude. All right, guys, this is a rock song that, you know, it's a band that I still wish was cranking out heat because I love a lot of their songs. They have a lot of songs that I love. And this is a band that you can listen to if you want to get in touch with God. Let's go. You know, this is... <laughs> one of the coolest oh. lead singers of all time. Now we're talking. And this song, every time oh, I hear nice. it, I have to sing along and I have to say what up to the almighty. Even though I'm not even religious, I just go, what up, father? I'm here. <laughs> the, best, <laughs> the best music makes you believe in God. It yeah, does. And that's religious. why I'm picking Higher by Creed. Dude, Dude, this is a bad Dude, 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 Yeah, meant to live. Yeah, yeah a little all. bit. That's better. Yeah, this is if you want to, you know, just... Headbang with the boys while getting in touch with the Lord. If you want to headbang with God, yeah, yeah this is the song. If you want to it's feel a, like Jesus, yeah, knocking domes with his dad. Sing up to the universe. Can you take me higher? And the video of him like being dissatisfied backstage and then coming out in front of the crowd and just belting. Oh, oh it's such a it's great a, song, dude. It's, so it's a great, great karaoke song. Yeah, I think I did this at karaoke night. Remember when we all raged after the show? Finished? Yeah. That's fun as and fuck. It's, it's one of those songs too where like people can be like, ironically, like, oh, you listen to Creed, you listen to Creed, but I'm like, it's undeniable when you, higher comes on, you're gonna sing along and you're gonna fucking get fired up. Yeah, you're, people look down on getting pumped up sometimes. And oh, like, yeah. you're just gonna eliminate like 90% of life yeah. being pumped up. That's Dude, my favorite feeling is being pumped up. This could be a beef, but the beef of like, oh, that's basic or stuff like you, you're basic. Like, yeah, I'm basic because it's dank. I like brunch because it's fucking great and I'm hanging out and getting my buzz going and getting good food. I like Creed because it rips. Yeah. And you could call a lot of things basic. Like what makes them like is ice cream basic? Yeah. You know, is a basic. sunset basic? Yeah, you, you sleep know? at night? That's basic. Yeah. You better believe I'm basic. <laughs> is like cuddling basic? Yeah. 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 It's basic. It's yeah. And guess what? Call me basic, baby. Yeah, call me basic. Enjoy, me basic. enjoy not being basic. Yeah. I don't even know what you do. You don't feel anything. Yeah. You just sit around like judging things. Yeah. And yeah. like your collared shirt like deflects yeah. anything that could make you feel. Yeah. What yeah. are you what into? Are you... Making loose leaf tea? Yeah. Eating Get meringue cookies. <laughs> yeah. When you're into like specific things. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like take your key lime pie and shove it up your ass. Exactly. And you're into things yeah, where there's no competition. <laughs> I'm into stuff where everyone's going for it. Hey, fucking man, dude. Yeah. All right. I think Great I fucking pick. Should we play it? Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that was fired up. Dude, of course. Dude, we're about to get so jammed. I can already hear the fucking... Dude, even if we can't play the songs, it's just all of our smiles after <laughs> yeah. listening. Yeah. Yeah, guys, we just listened to Hired by Creed. And it's just... so sick. Dude, the Bro. skulls in the skulls. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, oh, the chicks oh, come in. The chicks come in. The chicks come in. Yes. The chicks show up. <laughs> and there's a genius, dude. He's like, I'm going to play higher when the chicks show up. Yes, yeah. dude. That was just an editor's choice named Derek. He's like, look what I did. Yeah. The guy's like, that is genius when the chicks show up. And everybody gets one chick, but then they show yeah. Paul walking out, and he's got two. Two, dude. He's got two yeah, chicks, dude. Like, and he just looks like it just throws up like a later day. <laughs> what a playful playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play this when chicks show up to anything? Yeah. Dude, I'm so amazing. <laughs> the chair, like three chicks walk in. You're just like, yeah. <laughs> you believe in God? You're like, God is good, dude. It's true. It's God, true. The Almighty, brother. Oh, can you take me to This is a <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're still talking. To, you're still talking to your date, dude. I got two. I'm gonna go fuck them right now. <laughs> <laughs> then they get, and then they, and then the montage ends with them getting new whips, new cars. Oh, they're all convertibles, cars. dude. Dude, that's so all fun. great pump up songs have to like match nicely with montage and stuff. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a lot of them were like. Oh, I did like Google like what are like the best montage songs, dude. That's, that's so, a great. That's call. so funny. Like in high school and stuff and. A guy would be like hooking up with a girl and be walking out of the party and just give you the. Oh, dude, amazing, bro. <laughs> I remember one time, dude, our buddy was gonna like get into a bunch of fights one night and I was gonna talk to him and I'm like, yo, hey, what happened to so and so? Because he was just like walking from fight to fight. Yeah. And then his younger brother came up to me and he had a cigarette in his mouth, even though he was like 15. He goes, he's all good, man. He just had to cool off on a chick. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's dead serious, dude. He's dead serious. All time line, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> cool. Amazing. He's got a cool up on a chick. I'm like, Who, who's this girl? And let's go, like, let's, what an angel. I'm not gonna say yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What a saint, dude. Just, Absorbing all that. I mean, do you want me to know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> like <laughs> Um. Amazing, all right, so bro. I think <laughs> I think I want to stick with the cool. boning theme. I think I want a song that's good. I'm gonna I might go with two bone songs. All right, <laughs> you like working out and boning, dude. This is very you. And I want to I want a club anthem. I want a song that gets me fired up at the club. Like and it. for me, this is the number one song for that. And I think maybe the greatest song in history. It's fucking Problems by Aesop Rocky, yeah, Drake, Two Chains, and Kendrick. And it has the line in it that I think is the best. <laughs> for bald ego aggression is when Kendrick Lamar <laughs> says, girl, I know you want this dick. Yep. And the way he <laughs> says dick line, is maybe the best line delivery in history. <laughs> so, I'm so true. I'm going with... <laughs> Sorry. No, go, baby, go. <laughs> to cool off on a chick. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. I know. Did you never... Yeah, bro. I like the core conflict in this song because it's your problem is that you fuck too much. It's a great issue to have. And I think that's the best problem you can have. Yeah. And these guys are We've all been there. These guys too. are dealing with it, but they're clearly <laughs> pumped up about it. Yeah. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And then you got, I think, three great rappers on it all <laughs> yes, going at it. And it might be the it's greatest nice that they all get a verse. time. Yeah, I like to fuck. I got a fucking problem. Yeah, I like it's, to fuck. I got a fucking problem. Because like you can tell he's like <laughs> pretty pumped up on yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, he doesn't. Do you really think that? Or are you just saying? Do you really think it's, <laughs> it's clearly something someone else has told yeah, him is a problem. Yeah, and he's like, like, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah I hate hearing that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I get too much pussy. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> just glaring at someone. And the structure is great. How do they? They all end their verse in the same way, don't they? What are they? What is all the beast? All? Yeah, beast, beast, dude. It's so fucking good, bro. It's a great. It's a great banger. Dude, and I, then, dude, sorry, fuck, go ahead. Baby. Nah, it's just so sick, dude. Baby, it's is great it sick? sick. It's is just it so sick, sick, dude? It's so <laughs> sick, dude. What did do? Wow! I need an emotional cathartic song. I'm going pink just like a pill. Oh, oh dude, what a baby. great song. I love this fucking tune, dude. It's so good. It's a vulnerability pump up. She's it's, got it. It's like a it's this it's like the fuck you kind of mentality, but I just make pop music, which is perfect. I love it. I think it's great. You know she you look at her and you go, you offer up. Yeah, she oh, she offers. Offers. I mean her boyfriend, her husband's <laughs> Carrie Hart. Yeah. <laughs> First like guy that. to do a backflip on a motorcycle. Not land it, but first guy to do it. Dude. I mean, that's beautiful. That's that groundbreaking. groundbreaking. He was the first one to take that shot. Dude. That's why it's called the Heartbreaker. Fuck yeah! Is it really called it's the Heartbreaker? It's called the Heartbreaker. <clears throat> no, it's a different move, isn't it? The Heartbreaker is the one where I think he goes off the back of it. Oh, you and know, holds the thing I for a second the and then comes back like in. The... It might have been the one where he did like a hand. Oh no! That was the Heartbreaker. The one where I think it's a handstand off the back. I think I think he arches his back. He's like. Yeah, I thought it was the one where he like grabs the back and like sticks his hips up. Oh, that one where you fold backwards like you're doing like a like you're doing like a. I thought that was like you're fucking the. Like you're doing a hamstring stretch. Maybe one was called the heart attack or something. Oh, the heart attack was the other one. Oh, bro, this is so fun. Time to get hammered. Just a total cathartic <laughs> monster of a pump yeah, up. Dude, dude. Yeah. We need to be at a house party right now playing Shirtless, all these songs. Grabbing like, guys. Mm -hmm. This is, it's almost frustrating. Though. Me and my yeah. GF were rocking to that song yesterday, and I was just, people were walking by on the street, and we were just pointing at them. Like we were just yearning oh. for humans to see us. Oh. It was, it was really strong. Um, all right, Chad, your last pick, dude. Man, this is tough. Fuck. Um, you know, uh, okay. I mean, there's one, there's like a sort of the EDM classic I could go with. No, oh, I already have dude, Call I Me. Think I, know. I already have Call Me. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, you know yeah. Bro. That's a big one. Yeah.
Yeah, I gotta go with this one. Okay, this is, this is there's a drinking game to this one. One of my favorite drinking games. Um, you gotta go with some, you know, seventies, eighties rock classics. And this one is just uh, it's Thunderstruck by ACDC. Great you pick. can't go wrong. Great pick. You can't this go is, wrong. This and you know, we didn't have much classic shock. rock. We needed yeah. more of it. Yeah, Queen. Yeah. Queen was on there, but it was, yeah, it was tough between that and I was thinking No Easy Way Out by Robert Tepper from Rocky Four. That was my pick. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that one too, but I think I think Thunderstruck because the drinking game is phenomenal. Have you guys played the no, drinking no. game? No. So every yeah. time that he says thunder, you get in a circle. Every time they say thunder. One guy starts chugging, thunder, switches over to the next guy, thunder. And then you just chug for as long until the next thunder comes in, then it goes to the next guy. But there's one where you could get fucked where it says thunder and it's like a minute. You have to chug for like a minute. Whoa. Best game ever. Fuck, Thunderstruck. Dude. Fuck. We Did should you play, play that game with Vo? What? Did you play that game with Vo? Vodka. Vodka. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, dude, I played it with Ski. Oh fuck yeah! Did you think Bo yeah. was a guy? Yeah, I was oh, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, is that some dude we know? <laughs> <laughs> is that the guy I had to cool off on a chick? Yeah, dude. <laughs> can you can you imagine that either you could fight a bunch of people or go finger someone, and that's the only way that your night could end? Because that's how this. Guy's I know a lot of guys going. who operate <laughs> that way. Crazy. That's amazing. Just, that's that's amazing. That's amazing dude. Could fight. Yeah, because the there's two fight. outcomes. There's fight or flight, but when you're of a certain age and of a certain testosterone level, it's it's fight or fuck. Right. Yeah. That's we do. Those are the only two primal outlets for those energies. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go pick a fight. <laughs> Alright, you guys have to keep playing. Thank you, thank you. That's a great album. Strider, who's your last pick, dog? Holy guacamole, dude. <sighs> I've been sticking true to stuff of like that I listen to that pumps me up so hard. And at this point, I might, as the bender, delve into a different genre. Definitely not genre bending. Because the song is a pump-up song. It gets the crowd going. Going classical. Dude, exactly. Yeah. Beethoven's ninth. Uh, some of those, those, those some of those scores, well, some movie of those scores. scores. I thought about movie oh, scores, bro. Oh, yeah, honorable mentions is going to be fun. A lot of them. Um, this is just on my mind, and I was inspired by this in the moment of what we were talking about. I don't know if we'll do the pre fodder for the podcast, but I went to um, Stagecoach, and I saw this artist perform, and no one puts on a show like Garth did, and he does rodeo. So I'm going Garth Brooks Rodeo, dude. Wow, interesting. It gets you moving. It I don't gets know the this ladies one. going. It's a lot of jean oh, yeah. shorts. It's a competition for sexiness. There's a lot of sexiness, not in the video, but you're doing an electric slide and just it gets me going. I don't think Garth Brooks is on. Oh yeah, you can't like get Garth Brooks songs. That's a problem. Oh, dude, if there's any song that's gonna give rights issues, should I do a new song because of that? No, right. we can listen to it real quick, and we'll, let, let's just not talk during this one since we don't know. Okay, and we'll just see if. Also, uh, this is probably. I'm, I'm, you know, I should have just stuck to my guns, dude. What was your other option going to be? <sighs> no one's going to pick it. I was going to do um, Alt J Fitz Pleasure. I don't know that one. It's really fun. So we gotta. We should. We should party. Dude, don't you want to party right yeah, now? This, yeah, this this whole like, thing. This is like party. I'm actually getting frustrated because I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna have all this energy. Yeah. Also, gonna be a couple beers. And, Same time, a few and beers. Then, I know. And I'm then I'm like, like, chill for a second. And then I'm like, go home and pack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go home and game. Is this it? Sorry, it's white. It's white and it's nothing. I'll memorize the song. So the next time, so the dude, next that's time we, really good. So the next time we party, I'll be able to get in on the action <laughs> yeah. with you. It's American. It's, it's a like rodeo. a Teddy Roosevelt poem. That thing is like, it's Thank old you, American dude. mythos. And like, I want to sleep with that guy. He's oh, a beast. I want to sleep with Garth. He can't be with her because he's too into the rodeo. Exactly. That's his true love is the rodeo, dude. Because he's a wild man. That makes me want to put on a cowboy a hat. Bit, 100%, yeah, put, dude, if you wear a cowboy hat. Put my girlfriend in a flannel. Just 
whip her down, give her a smooch. <clears throat> Chad, yeah. that's exactly the essence I was going for is it's the experience of, that's not one necessarily, actually, if I'm driving, listening in my car, I am fired up on that. But it's like when that comes on at a country Western bar or you're at a stagecoach or something like that, you're immediately, you're up, you're electric sliding. There's jean shorts, <laughs> you're in your boots, you're in your hat. You are fucking popping wood. You're Texas belt buckling when you hear that song. And to the visual of riding, <laughs> like the great cartoonist, Robert Crumb. Yes. He wasn't into conventional sex and his girlfriend in the wonderful documentary about him said for him, he would just ride her around the living room like she was a, uh, a bucking Bronco. That's beautiful. Oh, interesting. And hopefully mm -hmm. he rode for more than eight seconds for her sake. Yeah, come yeah. on. If you're going to make her get down there, give it a full show. Yeah. Stryer, I love every image of you like in, in boots and a cowboy hat just doing the electric slide with a boner. Dude, thank you. Here's the thing. I have a very deep insecurity about being all hat and no horse. That's why I want to start riding horses more. I go on solo, um, like the group rides. There's a lot of families than just me uh, here at, at Griffith Park because you can do a horseback ride there. And it's just because I want more horse experience in the saddle. I still don't know what I'm doing. The animal's in control. Uh, maybe that's my problem. I look at it like an animal when it's a being. So thank you for that imagery, but I want it, I want the authenticity. Yeah, I think the horse is okay with being both to you. You're good on a horse. Yeah. You can you can post very well. Dece, but I can hold on real well. I spooked a horse one time. I'm there for a good time, not a long time. And the horse can feel that from me. You're good. Compared to me, man, you're fucking amazing. Thank you. You know what is great advice for every stoker listening? This is great advice. If you're looking at, if you have your eye on a lady, you're of dating age, invite a girl to go horseback riding. If you can and you have the means, it's a little bit of dough. But what's going to, oh, you want to go see a movie? Everyone's going to see a movie. Maybe she's not interested in that movie. Every girl's going to want to go horseback riding. I don't know one girl that won't. Can I add an extra part to that date? Yeah. You're riding horses together. You're unsupervised because you have the expertise requirement to you. guide your own trail ride. And then, uh, Come upon an animal that's in distress and give it medical attention. Holy shit. Top notch version of that. Uh, a cow's giving birth and right. you help pull the little guy out. You have to put your hand in his ass. Mm -hmm. You're like, honey, stay there. Hold on. Okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I got <laughs> you. You have to involve her. Ass instead of the vagina. Yeah. <laughs> She's, She's like, I think you're in the wrong <laughs> hole. You're like, don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing down here. <laughs> I've done this a thousand times. <laughs> yeah, like, baby, baby, come on. I'm, this, this is second nature to me. <laughs> your hand is covered in shit. This cow swallowed my shark wash last week. I needed to get it. <laughs> I think back. I got it. Yeah. I think I got it. It's just <laughs> Chris, you ready to take us home? Yeah, like I said, this one is, uh, uh, I'm going with the song by Lil Jon, uh, the Cindy Sampson remix to Out of Your Mind. Great song. Uh, Dude, yeah, bro. <laughs> Let me see. I think I have it queued up. Because Spotify doesn't have the right version. This one's oh, got nice. way more lasers. <laughs> Dude, I feel out of my mind. Hold on, I need to find the chorus. Dude, I immediately got so amped up, dude. Dude, this is also the song when you're too fucked up at the club and you're like, I need to go home. <laughs> this is always the song that's on. You're like, oh. Did you make good decisions to this song? You're yeah. like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a good litmus test for where you're at in the night. Yeah, it might be over. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Dude, also meaning a chick to this song and just like oh, staring yeah, at me like, where are you from? Where you want to party? You want to party? I don't want to go to the I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. 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 I don't give a fuck. Fuck it's it's just so twisted. I love it. Dude, that's amazing. I didn't bro. even get to the part where he says, get out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the name of the song. Um <laughs> shout out to Big Nasty Caleb. He's the biggest little John fan I know. Uh, and he would always be the one to put that on. And it's just 
it's so much like you guys said you're just so overstimulated it's so fun um and it's really stupid i mean lasers and whistles you hear a laser or a whistle in a song yeah it's on. Like, yeah all right should we get into some honorable mentions do, do we each want to do five yeah 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 fuck yeah maybe to, to clean up the honorable mentions we'll each give like three honorable mentions yeah, that we so wanted much. to hit yeah you yeah let's, go? let's just go around like, yeah. yeah chris you want to go ahead um i feel like oh man three no you give four or five just one, list them I, off. there's a lot yeah. of musical songs that i like a lot you mm. know what i mean or like disney songs oh dude like oh, you yeah, got dude. like like wait for it from hamilton one day more late minutes to find gravity yeah from wicked let it go from finding gravity dude Define gravity gets me so fucking amped let it go from frozen um all very good uh <laughs> All Hail the Heartbreaker oh, by Spill Canvas. We cranked that bro. so much in high school and it done whenever the high school boys meet up, we put it on. Oh my it's God. like a six minute song that like there's not really a chorus that repeats, but like That's right you know, there with Taking Back Sunday. Exactly. That's right so there. Like, you know what? I think Taking Back Sunday works with I think All Hail the Heartbreaker was pretty it was only because Internal. we did it. Yeah, insider. yeah but, we yeah, kind of just exactly. decided that yes. that was our but, anthem. But I I uh I didn't get the high school boys enough in my list, so definitely wanted to put that on as an honorable mention. Uh, Motorcycle Drive By by Third Eye Blind. Beautiful Whoa, song. Gets me beautiful. Jumper too. Up. A lot of Third Eye Blind songs. And uh, yeah, I'll stop there. Beautiful honorable mentions. I would go uh, a song entitled Stronger by a lot of female artists. Um, just, you know, a lot of them have the song entitled Stronger. Kelly Clarkson. I think Pink has one. Christina. Kanye has one. Christina Aguilera. Kanye has a stronger Ooh, that's a that's a good pick. The Aguilera one's strong. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh we will rock. Okay. Two here that didn't make my list. And then I'll then it will be someone else's turn. I the Tiger and We Will Rock You. Oh, I have the Tiger. Have some of the best intros of all time, but then when you get to the actual song, you're kind of like, it's a nice song, but I'm not pumped up anymore. And how contingent is the power of I have the Tiger to the Rocky? Yeah. association massive that's where one like i they help each other but if you just if you're just listening to eye of the tiger like by the time you get to the end of the song you're not it's the, oh, same, no, it's no. Like the same way it's with the tiger in me you're kind of like all right dude but it's that like, but it's that, like down, it's down. like i love hearts on fire and rocky four when i'm watching rocky but yes. i never put on also you're the best from Did karate it. kid and that's another one in the end yeah. from teen wolf yes oh you're the best Around. Yeah, but like you don't Nobody's ever. ever gonna I never put that song. You never. might, but it I never put it the, on. You need her at I, the beginning saying, "You're the best, Daniel." Yes. Yeah, and then it's like I'm watching karate at the same time. That's that's what the that's part of the appeal of the song for sure. You got a lot of you know Judas Priest, ACDC. You got Back in Black. You got I forget the Judas Priest Hell's ones Bells. that I was going to do. Hell's Bells, Thunderstruck. Oh, you already did that, but yeah, you know, a lot you, of these '80s. What I will say too about uh, "We Will Rock You" is it's a stadium pump up. And then Thunderstruck has that too. And then yeah. mm -hmm. I'll mention a couple other, but that, that's very important too. Like in this song, Lose Yourself can do that. For Does sure. this song work for like 50,000 people at the same time? Um, and those ones certainly do. Um, I got to go with, uh, you know, Enter Sandman. I was oh, thinking yeah. about Metallica. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you want to get into metal, you start with Enter Sandman. It's fucking. Mm -hmm. And the slow build up. What a riff, dude. Um, just often, never, never. That's so fun. Often, never, never, never. Okay. Uh, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. Great one. Great yeah, workout bro. song. Oh, man. That bro. one's really good. Uh, You know, I got to go with my dog, Purple Disco Machine, in the dark. Oh, yeah. We, we love Purple Disco. Cruel Summer, Banana Rama. Great one. Continue the mood for summer. Cool. REO Speedwagon, Can't Fight This Feeling. Yes. That's always, yeah, always anthem imagine, ones are good. Yeah, I always imagine proposing to that one of like, I can't fight this feeling. You got your new. Oh. REO Speedwagon, Keep On Loving You too. We'll get yeah, you jacked up. Yeah. Keep on loving you. Yeah. Glory of Love by uh, Chicago, I think. Those are like 80s ballads that fire you up to be romantic. Yes. yes. Those are very valuable. A lot of Journey songs. Oh, Peter Cetera. Yeah. We did cover call. a lot of jock jams too. Like the NBA, like you started though. Song. You started with bow, 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 bow. that's a jock jam. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alan Parsons yeah. project. You have that with the Chicago The Space Bowls. Jam yeah. song. A Van Halen right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Van Halen's all very good for pumping up. Yeah. Jump, Jump. Van Halen. 
All mine are from when I'm like 15. It's the same way my villains are from when I'm nine. Yeah. A lot of these are specific to it's when so I was. It's so funny. You were internal affairs when you were nine. Yeah, it was a weird household. <laughs> um, do you have any other ones, Chef? That's, that's a break stuff by Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Bro, I, I was surprised yes. you didn't have any Limp Biscuit on there. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, it's just tough. All of Imagine Dragons. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. For, for a stadium one, Seven Nation Army is yep, the standard. Sure. That one works really nicely. Um, also from like movie scores, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is a good one to run to. Oh, dude, good call. Uh, Inception Time will just Amazing. make you feel like a secret agent. Yes. Um, Bill Conti from Rocky is yes. Obviously the Bulls, Bulls on Parade and Matrix. I love oh Bulls yeah. On Parade. Last of the yeah. Mohicans. Great. Oh, the score. Promenade. Yeah. Yeah. A tremendous one. To the Stars from Dragonheart. One of the most beautiful songs of all time. What's uh, the one, oh, what's the one in Blow? Oh, whoa, whoa, Black Betty. Bam, 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 Black Betty's Bam. great. Back in Black, ACDC. Uh, dude, remember the name by Fort Minor. Dude, oh, yeah. Dude, dude yeah. yeah Too right. obviously trying to be the best pump up song of all time. Yeah. Not enough, oh. hey, we'll just end up being the best pump up yeah. song. It's a little too intentional. It's a little too on the nose. But hey, man, if you're putting together a, a highlight tape of some football plays, that's a great one. Um, Numb Encore, Linkin Park, oh, and uh, yeah. like Jay Z. Yeah. And then. Uh, and then a couple sex ones that I had to leave off, but uh, "Sex Is on Fire" by Kings of Leon. Yeah, yeah, always made me want to just start grab burning. someone's head and just really connect. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, what was my other sex one? Oh, this is very specific to me, and it was tough to leave off the list. But uh, uh, "Alive with the Power and Glory of Love" by oh, Say Anything. Yeah, yeah. Because the theme is it's about a Jewish guy and his gal. The Nazis are coming to take them away or kill them. And what do they decide to do in the face of that? Bone in the living room. That's what that song is. Yeah. It's a great song. You never knew that? Or no. Yeah, it's just about fucking when the Nazis are coming. I had no idea. It's great. You know how little period piece. Which is the yeah. ultimate rebellion <laughs> to, to you know, cruelty totally. is, is love. Let's make love. Is bold I love. Outline trio, God called in sick today. It's pretty sick. That's a AFI. Oh, yeah, AFI. Fuck, I'm an idiot. But yeah, they got some good ones. AFI's yeah, got AFI. a couple of bangers, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah AFI's a, really good to work out to. Did Blink Way too? Is, would you say all the small things? I think that gets me pretty fired up. Yeah, small all things. the small things. Oh, offspring. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, self esteem. Yeah, self esteem for offspring. Yep. Yeah, if you want to be, if you're working out by yourself after ten. Yep. One hundred percent. After ten. And then, uh, also, Kanye has a lot of good ones. Power. Yep. All of the lights. Um, stronger. All the lights, yeah. He's got a bunch of bangers. What about Run It by Chris Brown and Jules Santana? That's a great song. Oh. You know, you can run it, run it. Can't Fight This Feeling by Justin Timberlake. That pumps people up at weddings. Yeah. Wedding that, pump up songs so... sometimes are too safe. It's uh, just like, yeah. I like Senorita. I would prefer Senorita. like a Crazy in Love by Beyonce. Or something. Oh, dude. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's a, dude. I mean, Rihanna's me got some good ones too. Yeah. Um, I'm partial to Only Girl, but. I, I think like we, found, we found love is like one of the that'll get people going. Shut, Shut up and drive makes you want to put love, my thing yeah. in six. No Nickelback or Saliva on any of our lists. Yeah, no. Nickelback. A little too four minor. They're going for it too hard. How you remind me would get me jacked up. But. This is how. All right, Aaron. Here we go. Okay, I, got, I, have, I have honorable mentions uh, that I put together while uh, while you guys were doing yours. Uh, let's see here. Get over here, microphone. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I got Today by Smashing Pumpkins. Great song. Always always fires me up. Gets, gets loud beautiful and song. fast. Uh, my walk up song for softball, Machine Head by Bush. Nice. Oh, yeah. Dude, Gavin Bush Austin. rips. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Crawling in the Dark by Hoopa Stank. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. Hoopa yeah. Stank is Little good. Little Hoopa. Yeah, right. Uh, Heroes, David Bowie. Oh, Heroes. beautiful song. Dude, that probably should have been on there. Yeah. Just for one day. We had a lot of replacements. Yeah, thought a lot of stuff was going to be on here, guys. Well, uh, that's, the, that's the problem with yeah. this list. This, this one's so tough. Much. There's a lot of yeah. songs. So There's a lot of songs yeah. out also there. Also of a slightly different generation. So I'm I'm not that much older than you. We didn't fill up the tub of Cool Whip. There was some. There was definite creaming going on, though. Don't don't get me wrong. The tarp has been put. Uh, Jump by Van Halen already mentioned. Separate ways by Journey. Ooh, a lot of Journey ones could have been. I don't like a lot of Journey. I know, but uh, and it. Uh, I will fight any Stoker on this. <coughs> if if you think "Don't uh, Don't Stop Believing's Journey's best song, you're just wrong. <coughs> Separate Ways is the best song. Uh, Sweetness 
by the guys on my chest, Jimmy World. Uh, what is love by Hadaway? I know it's oh, kind of yeah. a cliche, but it fucking gets I you. Know. I, I did. had that on my list. I should, that was, yeah. Yeah, that's a banger. How can you not move to that? This one I thought, I mean, how do you, how do you, Sabotage, Beastie Boys. Oh, oh dude, yeah. Boys. Dude. Oh, wow. I didn't pick that because the Beastie Boys suck. Oh. Wow. Whoa. I like that. And we're going to have a new champion. The intelligence is coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my bro ham. No. <laughs> after that comment, certainly not. But Oh, oh right, right. Was, yeah. Oh, dude, I was getting you went after the judge, dude. Yeah, personal. that was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> even Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. I mean, it's a fucking banger. Staying Anything Alive that, that riff and Staying Alive. Right. You're yeah. grooving. You know what? Yeah. yeah. It's the walk down the street. Correct. Totally. It's... It's you and your boys have outfits on. You're ready to go out. You just fucking got a healthy buzz pre-gaming. What's the kid's name from Saturday Night Fever? What's his name in that movie? Travolta? Oh. Yeah, what's his name in it? Tony Monero. Tony Monero. Yeah. yeah. Which was also a really good Chilean film. Oh. About a sad guy who wants to be him. Oh. I never saw it, but my friend Chris said it was good. Really? All right. Um, all right, let me recap all of your guys' picks, and then I will go into uh, my judgment. Let's see, JT, uh, My Hero by the Foo Fighters, number one. Two, Till I Collapse by Eminem and Nate Dog. Three, Headstrong by Trapped. Oh, dude, this is a four. Oh my God. Fucking Problems by ASAP Rocky. Bro, this is a great list. <laughs> five, you. Just Like a Pill by Pink. Oh, oh bro, you dude. came in with fucking bangers. Dude, I'm fucking flexing. amazing. Okay, uh, we've got Chad. Guys, thank you. Number one, Lose Yourself by Eminem. Yeah. Two, If I Could Turn Back Time by Cher. Three, Call On Me by Eric Prids. Uh, four higher by Creed, five thunderstruck by ACDC. It's your heart. It's my heart. I love right it. You now. can feel yeah. the heart in it. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a good list. Striders. Good list. Number one pick: Jump Around by House of Pain. Two: Killing in the Name by Rage. It's a machine. Uh, three: Harder Than You Think by Public Enemy. Uh, four: Cute Without the E by Taking Back Sunday. Five: Rodeo by Garth Brooks. Dude, they all fire me. It's up. a great list. Do you lost me with rodeo a little? No, bit. no, no I, I lost myself with that. But that's what I do. I fuck up, Chris. <laughs> I'm a fuck up. <laughs> no, a lot of people are gonna like that pick, though. I bet. Yeah. Huh? Hey, I'm appealing to part of the country here. <laughs> yeah, dude, <laughs> smart. Swartha, yeah. yeah, you're the only one who went it's country. The Portillos, the Portillos. Of- <laughs> yeah, smart. It's smart. You're smart, <laughs> Chris. Dude. Number one, Zombie by the Cranberries. Yeah. Two, Chandelier by Sia. Three, Last Resort by Papa Roach. Fuck Four, yeah. Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Five, Out of Your Mind by Little John. Lasers, dude. Uh, a lot of good picks on here, guys. A lot of good picks on everyone's list. I'm going to start. Let me start. Why do I get so nervous? Yeah, I'm scared as fuck. <laughs> of course I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, my whole it's life's only our in the balance. It's only the rest of my life, dude. Look <laughs> who I am. No, dude, I'm not going to cry on camera. I'm blazing, I'm blazing my whole self esteem in Aaron's hands. I'm just kidding. Beer's about to turn to gin. Let me start. <laughs> I'm chilling, man. I, think, I don't think I'm going to win. So I'm going to start Probably. at the end. Um, solid. God, it's solid top two, maybe even three picks. Lost me with four and five. I think there's a better song by the artist. That's Strider. Oh, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. I, th- I think cute. I, I don't like taking that back hurts. Sunday at all. Um, hey, music is subjective. And uh, if you're gonna go Garth Brooks as a pump up song, I think you gotta go Friends in Low Places. That gets yeah, yeah, yeah I got jumping. friends. Yeah, that's true because everyone can yeah. sing it together. It's like, when you're right, you're right. Thank you. When you're right, you're right. I love you. I love you guys. Hey, a lot of great lists. Uh. Hey, zoom in on my eyes right now because they've never been so needy. (laughs) (sighs) Do any of you guys have a sharp object? uh... (laughs) I got some rope in my car. Can anyone put Last Resort on real quick? (laughs) (laughs) Last Resort's fun because you're killing yourself, but you're pumped up. (laughs) You're like, (laughs) you're killing yourself loudly. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Three, I think. It's a it's a good number one. It's number two I'd never heard before. Three I actually heard during my championship softball game. Four never heard, and five I'm like, I think I go JT. I'd never heard till I collapsed before. What? It wasn't really what? On it. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, I never heard it. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. 
for your number two, it should be something everyone knows. I feel like everyone knows that one. Right, well, if it's just me, it's just me. But that, I didn't put me in charge here. I could, I'd give this job away in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, don't say that. <laughs> you don't like being the judge? It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Certainly. It's one Especially man. when everyone's you're one man, close. dude. Like with boxing fights, they have three of them, and yeah. and Joe Rogan thinks that's not enough. He thinks there should be five or seven. <laughs> but Aaron, you're the judge, dog. Heavy is yeah. the head that wears the decision. Yeah. So we're down to Chad or Chris, and ultimately, what what it's coming down to for me is the number one pick being better than the other number one pick. What were you guys' number one picks real quick? We got Chad, Lose Yourself yeah. by Eminem, and one uh, Chris Zombie by the Cranberries. Well, there's no better, as we know now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm going with Chad. For Chad, for way to go, baby. I yeah, yeah. You had a great list. Oh, you did have a great list. I, I, thanks, do, bro. I do agree with JT. If I could turn back time, could have come fifth. But everything else just bangs. That's and what I thought. Call that's on me that's was how I thought about his list. Yeah, Call on Me was a great like curveball pick. Yeah, it was we great. all got boners. And then did you yeah. had Lose yeah. Yourself number one? Lose Yourself so. five, like, and then a higher by Creed. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Creed you had a good list. And I think Thank you, I think Chris, if you'd go on Chandelier one, Zombie two, maybe I think is better. Value, yeah. I picked I think. two in a row. So. I know, yeah, I know. It's it's tough. That's a good point. That's a good point. Also, if you picked Chris to win three times in a row, it's like. You guys need to get this a beer together already. Like, been four. Yeah, you guys yeah. taking a oh, four. Did that worry yeah. you picking my brother so many times that people would have started accusing you of like maybe a favoritism? Like Certainly or a relationship outside the draft that's going oh, on. Whoa. <laughs> or even that, or just like a, a crazy star crossed, like or not even star crossed. Like, yeah, you guys are just <laughs> bros of the same ilk. Yeah. I, I don't I don't hate any song on your list, that's for sure. And I don't I certainly don't on Chad's, but uh I, and I will say about Chad's list, when he picked Call on Me. Because I didn't that even really think fired. about that yeah, song. That fired. And then when he said it, yeah. and I literally felt myself get aroused. That's a three. It, that's it, a three on your list, and it's like the most animalistic fucking horny song ever. Yeah. <laughs> and just that music slow. video just started playing in my head, and I was just yeah. like, I was in a good place. Yeah. 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 It's nice. Chat, Chat way to go, one, baby. Thanks, two, guys. JT3, Strider4. Good shit, man. Thanks, all right. Chris. Um, all right. What up, counsel? I'm high as a giraffe right now. So, like, I may have fucked up big time. While supporting my dank-ass wife's pregnancy and prepping for this huge life transformation and to be the best dad I can be, I've been pumping audio straight at my wife's ute to try and instill the baby with true wisdom and prevent them from being a schmoll. That was all fun and games until after a full trimester of the only thing my son had heard has been this pod. Yep, that's right. And now whenever I stream the YouTube clips while changing the wee lad's nap nappies, my son reaches toward the screen saying, Dada. I think he thinks Chad is his dad. Dada, his first word is about to be dank. What do I do here, bros? Seems like he could be a really cool guy one day, but the thought of not having my son recognize me as a father figure haunts me. Do I keep raising him or should I just quit while I'm ahead and let you boys take over? Chad, do you and Kennedy still want a dog? The little dude so far is great on all fours and isn't totally locked in a name, so it might be a real catch. Sorry for the long email. Fuck Puzio. Shut up, Brody. Jabwow. I late. Really good email. Wow. Uh, a huge honor. Thank you. Um, I'd be open to accepting your child. Uh, if you want to, you know, send him via stork. Um, Would you be accepting... The child as a person or as a dog? As a dog. Uh, we have a little right. fluff bed and, you know, we have a bowl and we have a dish. And uh, well, you should leash. get a kennel too. You don't want the thing just running around. Yeah. Is it kennel trained? I'd like to know that for sure. Great. Um, and uh, do I need to find a nice bush for pee or... You know, tell me, you know, the specifics on your dog child and uh, I may accept. So thank you. What do you guys think? Um. Yeah, I think you guys, you should adopt his kid. Yeah. I think you should invest in some AirPods, but. I like having the string on him, dude. Or do that. Legit. You can do a lot of things. All right, going deep. What's up, boys? There's this girl in my friend group who's got an insane body. I want to shoot my shot, but I don't want to mess up the friendship. 
also this there's this girl who's friends with her that I was working on at a party who said she hopes to see me again soon. Which girl should I go for? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, dude. This guy's the best, dude. Dude, I don't know. Dude, where it's tough, at. Dude. That's such a tough call, bro. I mean, the one girl's got an insane body, but the other girl, like, you guys were vibing at a party? Dude, that's a crazy toss. Dude, because here's the thing, dude. The second girl who said she had a little bit of interest in you, like that could probably turn like odds are you're gonna be busting a nut with her sooner. And they already got energy, dude. They got energy, but the girl with the insane body, how do you pass that up? And you're a guy who likes to win and compete. So I think what you gotta do is compete and go after the girl with the insane body. Honestly, get one of your boys interested in her too, so you can fucking dominate him. Dude, I hear you, bro. This dude should straight up dominate and he's got that kind of potential, which needs to be fostered for sure. <laughs> And I want to see him being top dog. But, bro, how do you pass up on energy, dude? That's true. Because an insane bot, if it's not animated by some real connection, is going to feel inert, dude. So, dude, guys, he should just hook up with both of them, dude. Bro, dude, dude fucking bro, how did you yeah. figure that out, dude? dude? dude cool. Bro, fuck. oh, dude. I can't choose. I don't know what to do. Choose both it's dude. like Fuck it's up. like a trick question but there's no consequences dude it's just all bonus it's if you exactly, hit both bro dude. if you do it right how are they even gonna be mad exactly dude. bro wait <laughs> <laughs> bro wait though bro bro oh, wait dude. do you go for both dude which is for sure <laughs> or do you try and lock in both same time. Oh, oh, dude. Yeah, hey, Christopher Nolan, dude. Well, dude, dude Let's converge the timelines, homie. Hey, that's a good call by you. Same time's a good call because he's trying to get that BMX sponsorship. So just fucking, if you hook up with them both at the same time, that's just more efficient. Gives you more time to practice. Right. Bro, like, broadly <laughs> on advice, though, stay lit. Dude, that's true. For sure. Just, hey, stay lit and keep being a king, king. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever write in something like that again, dude. Don't ever fucking write something like that again to us, dude. It is, <laughs> some of us got real problems, dude. Dude, you know what I like about that whole thing, though? Don't ever do that. It feels like it took him 10 seconds to write that email. Yeah, he, like, dude, he, he didn't use any other finger, finger but his thumbs. Yeah, he just wrote like, that on his phone, dude. He's like, you know what, dude? I'll check in with Chad and JT real quick, see what the homies say. All right, later, dude. You know, dude next time you're partying, whichever one's closer, there you go. Yeah, dude, pull over your Go razor. for that one. Exactly, dude. I got nothing else to distinguish these people. I want real stakes. What's your biggest mistake? Who have you hurt? What has your dad done wrong? Have you ever done a hit and run? What's going on? Dude, okay, so this dude, I can't find his question, but I remember him writing it in. Um, he said that his ish is that, is that his, his girlfriend has the same name as his mom. And it weirds him out when he's talking to her, especially oh, in intimate settings. Okay. So what's the sitch, dude? Does he call his mom by her name? He calls his mom. Because I call mom, mom. That I guess. Yeah. Did you date a Monica? True. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, it'd be a little weird, but is it like a deal? Like, I don't think it would be a deal breaker, but I guess I never dealt with it. Also, who do you really? Once you get past like the four month mark, don't you just call your girlfriend by like a pet, a pet names? name? Exactly. Yeah, like it's weird to still be calling your girlfriend like Donna. Yeah, unless you're trying like, to get her attention. Like yeah. her in name a crowd. is Babe or Sexy or Little honey, Vixen or, yeah. little or like or Squirtle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. We've gone boo from like that's a, from the get go. Or like you know? Challenger, you know what I mean? Yes. Or yes. Feisty Beast or yes. you know, Phoenix. I competent call mine, animal. I call mine Creamsicle. There it is, dude. Yeah. Yes, I think you. So either Tigress. But if you don't feel comfortable with that, just keep calling your girlfriend by her name and call your mom by a pet name. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Come what, on. What do you yeah. yeah. Yeah, call your mom, babe. Be like, babe. <laughs> Babe, make me a grilled cheese. Yeah, dude, my mom. Yeah, my mom. Hey, boo. Hey, hey boo, babe. boo. Hey, sexy. Sexy, what's up? You need me to grab something from the front? Yeah, yeah. I got you, girl. Hey, babe, can you help me with rent? Hey, candy pants. <laughs> what's, what's Thanksgiving dinner going to be ready? Hey, Squirtle. Squirtle. I was, I was, I was, hey, Squirtle. Okay, uh, Squirtle, can you hey, help me with Blast tuition? Choice. You've leveled up. <laughs> Hey, Squirtle, Work help me with tuition this semester. 
Yeah, hey, lover nut pumpkin butt. <laughs> hey, hey, fuck toy. <laughs> Where's my little fuck doll? <laughs> hey, fuck toy. Can you help me with rent this semester? Hey, cum bucket, have you seen my socks? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, fuck toy. Do not ever ask me about my grades again. <laughs> also uh, good cue. All right, Chad, who's your beef of the week? Uh, I, you know, this is our fourth pod this week because we're banking them, so... It's tough for me to come up with a beef. I know, it's, I have. it's tough. So I asked my mom, I'm like, mom, what is your beef right now? My mom's beef is how expensive it is, expensive it is to go on vacation right now. Oh, she's like, flesh? Yeah, we're trying, to, we're trying to go on a cruise. We're trying to, you know, get tropical, stay tan. Winter's coming, you know, August. You better get your shit together or else you're going to be pasty. So she's trying to get those trips lined up and she's like, it's expensive. And, it's, and she's like, it's pretty effed. So I was like, I freaking hear you, Squirtle. And uh, yeah. Dude, my beef is for Aaron. Aaron, you, you expressed some beef earlier that you had that I want to toss it to you. It was the fucking, uh, yeah, what was it again? No, my beef is not with Aaron. I love Aaron. What did someone do to you? They fucked up, dude. Why can't I remember this? Oh, it must not have been that important. Dude, my beef is with my brain for not being able to remember right now. This dude. is your third podcast in three days, too. That's true. And look, here's the thing. I'm a, we're chill, bro. It's like, I don't have that much beef, dude. But someone fucked with Aaron hard, dude, and it was messed up, dude. It wasn't about going over to Laurel Canyon. It wasn't your McDonald's. It wasn't... Oh, fuck. I'll what remember it in a second, dude. I mean, we, were, we were both here. We both And we were all here. like, that's fucked up, dude, that someone did that. Wait, was I here for that, Yeah, too? we were always right out in the kitchen. We were like, that's fucked up. Dude, I'm on Modelo time, man. I can't remember, remember shit. It? Dude, that's crazy. Maybe we got it all out. Maybe we kind of like... It's cathartic. Yeah. All right, well, that's chill. That shit's been Whoever done. That, whatever fucking was messing with Aaron earlier, dude, that's my beef, dude. <coughs> Thank you to the universe for quelling it. Chris, what's your beef of the week? My beef is myself for downloading this tower defense game on my phone <laughs> that has totally sucked up my life for the last day and a half where I haven't looked up from my phone at all. <laughs> and I've barely had a conversation with my wife since then because I'm just so locked in. I'm really addicted, but you know, I hope I get over it soon because it's, uh, it's fucking with my shit. What's it called? Tower defense? Is that like command and conquer just, or something? I didn't even know which one I picked. I just searched tower defense in the app store, you know, where you just have waves of, troops coming oh, in and they're so different fun. ones and you just build shit and i've been so locked in that i've just rad. been glued to my phone for like two days nice dude my beef of the week is with guys with weird vibes <laughs> nice dude <laughs> you know for and like sure. a lot of these guys have like tons of friends and are very social and are ostensibly cool by most metrics but then they just cruise in and you're like dude like either chill or like get it together but I can't handle you in this weird in between. It's just throwing me. And so, like, much love to all people. We're all doing our best, but guys with weird vibes, like, it just kind of, I don't know, it puts a big burden on you. And I'm trying to chill. No, it changes the way you sit because they'll come up and they'll sit next to you and you're just like, they know who they are, right? Like, they know um, that they're doing I don't know. this. I don't know. No, they, you, don't don't so, you know what makes their vibes weird too is that they don't take ownership and they fling it back at you. They're always the first dudes to be like, hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you acting weird? You're like, I'm being like normal, dude. Or like if yeah. I am being weird, it's not worth commenting on. And then like you just like, I'm like, take responsibility for your side of things, dude. For sure. Dude, one dude yesterday, we were sitting. It was me and a comedian and there was only room for the two of us. And then he rolled up and was like, yo, can I sit there too? And I was like, we're all going to be like squished together. I'm not even good friends with this comedian. I was like... Dude, it was painful, but I had to literally be like, you can't sit here. Yeah. Good on you, though. But you don't ever want to have to say that, you know? So fuck that guy for putting me in that spot. That's dude. whack, dude. All right, babe slash legend, Chad. Uh, this is uh, for my mom, too. The legend slash babe is a dog that was lost for four years and returned back to its family. Oh, my God. After four years. That's I amazing. Know, I don't have any deets. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. But it's just that alone. I'm like, that's... Can what? you imagine just being like, spot? <laughs> you're just you, like what up dude you said it and i had a picture in my head of yeah, like yeah a family getting reunited and yeah, I yeah was already tearing up it's, it's amazing. amazing did they find the dog because it got like covid vaxxed and the government was able to find where it was finally yeah that's totally. yeah that's what i figured yeah yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that they're going around. Yep. Yeah. It's like find your dog. Moderna app. Fuck yeah. Bill Gates emailed them and was like, hey, I know we're fucking. Yeah. He's like, hey, are you looking for. Yeah, dude. Rusty. For... I know. Rusty. Yeah, exactly. Bro, it's so weird. You just said Rusty. You don't want to you guys say that No. First? Dude, that's the energy. Because my, my babe slash legend of the week, me and my dank ass fiance were elming today. And she showed me the color rust, dude. We might get a rust bedspread, and I really liked Ooh. it, dude. So is it like maroon, but like a little bit more? Exactly. I actually referenced your couch. I was like, you have a great couch. Thank you. We love that couch. Can't wait to watch fucking ball on that this fall. It's coming. And she was like, hey, look at this bedspread. It's rust. And I was like, holy fuck, dude, I like the color rust. So she's just opening my mind to new things. So I guess rust, but really what rust means, like the subtext of that is like, fucking new experiences and, and shit legit taste, you know? Hell yeah. Yeah. Chris, who's your beat? Uh, Chris, who's your babe slash legend? Uh, there's this couple that I saw at uh, the Brandy Carlisle concert that I went to a month ago where the female in the relationship was like seven inches taller than the dude. Nice. Whoa. I mean, she had awesome. really broad shoulders and he was a skinny dude. And they were, they were on the stairs, like getting even closer to the action, and they were rocking out. They knew a bunch of the songs, and then when it went to like a power ballad, she freaking held him in her arms, like snuggling him, and they were just rocking. And he didn't, and just to see like that size shift, and they were not embarrassed at all. I was like, this is fucking. I love That's legendary, that. dude. It was amazing. Did she ever get in a nice squat stance and allow him to shimmy up her body onto her shoulders during during <laughs> no, any songs? No, because they were it was a ele like it was um, an elevated section, and they were right on the edge. Okay, that would have been way too dangerous. Could have been if, they were, if they were on the floor in that GA section, I imagine he would have been going up on her shoulders for sure. Um, because she was built. Fuck yeah. Dude, I think I found out who the coolest white guy of all time is. I'm biased too, because this go. has been my trajectory it's recently in terms of the info I've been absorbing. I'm going JFK. Mm. Oh, he's a World War II hero. He's yeah. courageous. He gets ass. He's inspiring. He seems very comfortable in his skin. And it seems like he can make the room bend to him more than the other side. So I'm going JFK as the coolest white guy ever. Dude, That's nice. pretty bad. Nice. I like that. Obviously. Sinatra's cool. I'm an Elvis like, guy over Sinatra. But guy. you know, I have trouble Elvis going. I, I, we were talking about this earlier. I, I probably put athletes and world leaders above musicians. Musicians are above actors for sure. Hundred percent. But I still put for me, athletes and and world leaders are still have the highest ceiling. They move different. Singers move different too, though. Actors don't move that good. Mick Jagger's pretty cool. Why did I guess? It's, Mick Jagger's cool. Obviously, it's sad how Freddie Mercury that he got assassinated, but it is nice that there's not like a twilight end of his life where he could fuck things up. Dude, it's such you a good point. It's, like, it's a little too pocky. Yeah, where it's like we saw the best of them and we never saw them get watered right. down. So it's like through age. You, know, you almost wish Bob Dylan ever lived long enough. You know. Well, the nice part about athletes too is you only remember them for their prime. Like yeah. I don't really count against Michael Jordan being a bad owner. Yeah, and I don't really count against like making bad. Yeah. free agent decisions playing for the wizards you're like whatever thank, thank you for that um all right Chad, who's your, what's your quote of the week my quote of the week comes from higher by creed the great call can you take me higher Beautiful. to a place where blind men see can you take me higher to a place with golden streets Uh, mine is fuck you. I won't do what you tell me. Nice from uh, Rage Against the Machine. Mine is <laughs> mine's from Out of Your Mind. This, this is going to be my quote and my phrase that we forgetting after it. If that's cool, and it it's great. It's a little long. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. Let's fucking lose it. <laughs> Get out of your mind. <laughs> That's beautiful, dude. Get out That's of your mind. That's fucking beautiful, dude.
Do you think they read the lyrics? He like wrote it, he gave it to his boy and he started tearing up. He was all precious oh, about dude. it. He's like, look, there's nine. I don't give a fucks here. We can't have 10. <laughs> it's just an artistic number, nine. Or it's 11 or nine. If anything, I think he came in and was like, what yeah. if we tripled it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah I'll go from one of my songs to... Um, I'll go from uh, Aesop Rocky fucking problems. Oh, yeah, let's go. I love bad bitches. That's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like to fuck. I got a fucking problem. I love bad bitches. That's my fucking problem. And yeah, I like to fuck. I got a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, um, like that. <laughs> and then he puts a nice capstone and he says, if finding somebody real is your fucking problem, bring your girl to the crib. Maybe we can solve them. <laughs> that's amazing. Dude, you know what else? You know what I wanted to say at the end of that, though? That's another song lyric. Lights out, Gorilla Radio. Turn oh. that shit up. Oh, yeah. Great call. Is Rage the best pump up band of all time? Or are we might, giving it to Eminem? They got a lot of bangers. I think Rage. Rage over Eminem? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every playlist. Rage song is pump up. Yeah, it's my workout playlist. Rage. Yeah, I would be more concerned going to a Rage concert that I wouldn't have the energy to keep up. Yeah. Pistol grip pump. Mm. All right, uh, Chad, what's your phrase of the week for getting after it? Phrase of the week for getting after it is, uh, dude, turn it up. I like that. Nice. That's good for this. That's good. Mine is because all you guys said good stuff. Hey, man, what he said. <laughs> yeah, I already did mine. To paraphrase, get out of your mind. Love that. Mine is also from fucking problems. <laughs> um, girl, I'm Kendrick Lamar. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. She eyed me like a blank don't exist. Girl, I know you want this dick. Girl, I'm Kendrick Lamar, a.k.a. a Benz is to me just a car. That's it. It's amazing, dude. Let's go. Bro, poet. All right, dudes, is that it? That was a fun one. Be interesting. If we can keep draft. the music in it, it'll be a banger for yeah. sure. Good yeah. draft. Good draft. Oh, awesome. Congrats, Chad. Congrats oh, on the thanks. dub, dude. Thank you. If you need advice, these guys are really nice. You want to know what to do and where to go. When you need someone to guide you, it's to have the road beside. Yeah.